Hey, everybody. Oh, my camera's way over there. Don't look. Don't look. Everyone stare as hard as you can as Nobody. Ark's camera. Nobody saw anything. Nobody saw anything. You can't prove it. Panda looks like he's already okay. Although... Hold out. Yeah. The camera looks fine. I'm fixing. I fix camera. Panda is tired. <laughs> Those earphones are not doing your face any favors. What do you mean? It's like. <laughs> should be center of shot. So, hello Braxton and everybody else. Welcome to the Pokemon Smash or Pass Tournament Edition. If you will uh, direct your attention to chat, I've got some links here for you in case you didn't see them in the Discord. A boop. There you go. You can uh, pull up those websites. The Game Arc one is for predicting my tournament bracket, and the Game Panda is for predicting Panda's tournament bracket. Uh, basically, here's the way the tournament works. We're going to get Poink! Two Pokemon. Hold on, I'll switch to Game Mode. Oh, but Game Mode's going to kill the music. I'm going to have to Oh no, the music is still there. Nice, okay, anyway. Um, so, we'll get two Pokemon like this, and we will pick which one we think is the most smashable. And uh, whichever one we pick gets one point and then goes on to the next round. At the end of the whole tournament, every Pokemon will have gotten a number of points from zero to whatever it says on the prediction website. I forget what the math is, but uh, so on the prediction website, what you can do... Hey. Yo, Baldrick, with the subscription, thank you! Pass, obviously. <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, um, so hey, Baldrick. So anyway, um, excuse me. Uh, so what you do on the prediction page, um, in fact, hold on, I can just, I can just pull it up here real quick. Uh, just go to arcworks draws.com slash smash or pass <laughs> slash ass slash ass so what you get is you get a list of all the Pokemons on the that will be on this bracket and what you do is you punch in your prediction so say four and when the Pokemon gets a final result uh, you'll punch in that result here and you'll get a score based on how far off you were if you get it exactly right you get two points, and then for every one point off, you get one less. So if you guess five and it's two, you get negative one, right? And then all the way at the bottom, doot, 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 there's a total score. This is the highest score you can get is 512. Yeet! So if you want to see, if you if you're not familiar with all the Pokemon and you need to get a closer look, you can just click it and it will go whoop and it will give you a closer look at the Pokemon. Now I don't want to sit here too long because I don't want to spoil our own Smasher Pass. Oh, well, I'm sitting here with my eyes closed. Okay. So. Which is dangerous because now I'm just like. Mm. <laughs> if you want to do, if you want to, uh, what you can do is every time a Pokemon gets a point, you could just add a point to the prediction. Or not to the pr you can add a point to the result. Um, um, what is that supposed to still be going? No, why is it still going? <laughs> yeah, why is we're it still not raising going? money for that. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, ignore that. 
<laughs> I turned off the commands, but I forgot about the timers. Hold on. So anyway, um, you can... So, like, every time a Pokemon wins, you can add one to their results, so you can kind of follow along, and that will give you... Right, and at the end, you'll have a total... Uh, you'll have a total score sheet. Um, but we will also post the results in the Discord, so you can punch them in then if you don't want to go... Yeah, we're not helping children anymore! Get out of here! We're <laughs> smashing Pokemons! I'm not sure, even if we were raising money... <laughs> I'm not sure the Starlight Children's Foundation would want any of this fucking <laughs> Pokephilic <laughs> yip no, money. No, they, they don't want any <laughs> part of this. Although, I don't know, would they accept money if they knew it came from murders? As long as it was, <laughs> if, as long as it was like, <coughs> would oh, they these are money murders. from the mafia? Like, this, this, these are murders of people that we don't care for. But what if it was people they do care for, but less than children? These are questions we don't ask during the charity run. Oh, I shouldn't have worn this shirt. This is the coziest cozy that has ever cozied. I love this hoodie. Stream is buffering regularly. We're not dropping any frames. Charity trolley problem. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're not dropping any frames, and we're streaming at standard 6,000. So, try refreshing. Yep. Oh, and he dropped frames. <laughs> For some reason, hearing this, I just hear, my name is Mr. Wilson, and I'm here to say, I'm gonna <laughs> smack your ass in a major way. What are you doing in my basement? Get out of here. Get out of <laughs> <coughs> So, um, so, yes. Whoop. Um, so yeah, just grab the, uh, the links over there, uh, links are up here in chat for you to uh, click to play along. So we're gonna dive right into it. So the first bracket will be Panda. Now there are some uh, there are some um, concessions that must be made while we're playing this because I did play one and uh, it gave me shit. So first of all, uh, Pokemon are people. Uh, sorry, people are Pokemon. Other way around. People are Pokemon. I think the games have made that pretty, pretty clear at this point. That people are just, that humans are just a kind of Pokemon. So, and Pokemon, you breed all kinds of different Pokemons together. You know, you just throw a Pikachu and uh, Nidoran in there and eggs will happen. So, dude, they should... <laughs> when are they gonna give us the world where hybrid shit happens, right? Because it's always like, here's a Pikachu, here's a Nidoran. You put them in a cage. And what do you get? You get either a Pikachu or a Nidoran. And <laughs> then you run. Where do I get a? When, are, when do I get a Picoran or a Nidochu? Oh, that's and it some... comes out. It's like, no, you fool! I'm a fool. I accidentally picked Provo Pass for you. Uh, Restart. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Not acceptable. No one makes my choices for me. Well, I gotta go edit the... I gotta go edit the... <laughs> the, the MySQL database. <laughs> There's no way to do this other than manually. <laughs> you can't... You couldn't figure out a way you could at least do this from your phone? <laughs> I can't... I, I don't have a MySQL app. It won't take but a second. Now, all of, of these Pokemon, I have to ask the question. Is this like a selection, a small, sele a smaller selection oh. of the, of Pokemon? Or is it just, or is it like all the Pokemon or is it a random, like, is it a curated selection or a random selection? Okay. So, each bracket, hold on, 
Also, I didn't need to do that. I forgot that it doesn't post the scores into the MySQL database until we finish. All right, just move, no, I, I can't keep it pointer off of Pokemon while it's up there. Anyway, um, so it is a select random selection of all of the current Pokemon, but different forms are not included because I couldn't figure out a way to do that yet. Oh, so there's not going to be something like, it's like, like Mega. Meowth and then... Like Galarian Meowth, yeah. or Charizard, or Mega Charizard. Right. The the alternate forms are not in here yet. Uh, to get that working, I would have to start digging into the. I'd have to start digging into the Pokey API <laughs> from the database, and I was not ready to do that. <laughs> so all I'm doing is pulling images from an image database. All those other images are there. I just don't have a. I just don't currently have a way to uh, pull the alternate form images yet. So it's all of the Pokemon that are in that are currently in the Pokedex minus the alternate forms. Mm. Um, now you're not going to get all of the Pokemon. Well, well, that's it's, what I meant. Like it's a random selection of those Pokemon. Um. Squint. It, there's one thing that this TV does not do well, and that's upscaling. Like it's this is 1080p because it has to be, and it just it does not look very good. Like I do want to get a 4K capture card in there so that the TV will look good. Um. So anyway, so uh, concession one. It so I forget how many Pokemon are in this bracket. It might be, too, I, it's, oh, it's 256. There are 256 Pokemon in this bracket. So you're getting maybe like a quarter-ish of all the available Pokemon. So there you're, so you might not see, there might be Pokemon that you just don't see. Um, so anyway, so concession one is human beings are Pokemon. And so there's that. Concession two is that Pokemon are sentient beings that can communicate effectively with their uh, with human beings, uh, they they know what humans are saying. They the communication is effective, so there's no there's no concerns about consent. <laughs> okay, so let's so let's not worry about that. And and three, the Pikachu <laughs> gave consent. <laughs> and and three, uh, think think Chihuahua. Okay. <laughs> Right, a, a one-year-old Chihuahua is like this, and a fourteen-year-old Chihuahua is like this. All right, so enough said. <laughs> Let's smash or pass. Let's I go. I wonder if anyone actually knows what you were talking. I'm about. sure they do. They're all freaks. <clears throat> we're all freaks here. All right, so this is me choosing, right? Yes, this is your smash or pass. So, <clears throat> no, I. Th I th I'm not going to do jokey meme shit no, here. No, I'll, I'll, I'll do it so you don't have to worry about accidentally clicking. Well, I'm not going to do any jokey meme shit here. <laughs> like, I'm not going to be like, uh, I'm not Markiplier, okay? <laughs> would this make me... Oh, this definitely would make me a furry. <laughs> Smash. <laughs> so, I'm going to obviously go with Low Punny here. Because one, it has an ass. It's true. <laughs> I mean, like it's cute and cuddly, obviously, but it also has hips that don't lie. That's true. Of course. But it, but specifically, it has an ass. <laughs> <laughs> Probo pass. The softest thing about it is its mustache. <laughs> Which, I don't like how puby. I was gonna say that <laughs> it looks like, it looks like what's going on is it has such a gigantic nose that it's actually reaching down over the crotch area, that, and the pubes are forming a mustache. I think if my nose was so big it was buried in my own pubes, I would kill myself. <laughs> also, what the fuck are this? It's got two. It's got two side. 
auxiliary schnozzes, <laughs> like, like, and maybe a third one in the back. Yeah, it definitely really sure. looks like there's a third one in the back. It's just too many noses. It's only holes are nostrils. <laughs> yeah, I think I think they're supposed to be kind of mowai. Um, but the other thing I don't like about Probopass. It's kind of got that thing <laughs> of, like, George Lucas Hold on. character designs during the prequels when you're just kind of like, oh, that no. looks a little too, like, it looks like, it doesn't look like anyone specific, but it does look like a generic offensive stereotype. Mm. Also, da na 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 crack that whip. <laughs> it does have a <laughs> So, are we going with Low Punny here? Yes. All right. Low Punny is our winner. Mark it. Next up, Hakama O versus ha Hakamo O. Oh, it's one of those uh, Hawaiian Pokemon. Okay. Versus Drizzile. Hakamo O, I think. Hakamo O? Yeah, something right. like that. That sounds like a good enough fusion of uh, Japanese and. Hawaiian. Yeah. Also, it's definitely definitely got some koboldy vibes <laughs> going on here. Um. Okay. No. No actual like size um, information. <clears throat> just like stats. Yeah, I didn't think about getting size information. Well, I am going to go Drizzile. Okay. Because Drizzile is one of my favorite Pokemon. Drizzile's solid. It's it, in fact, Drizzile is a good example of my constant pain in Pokemon, which is I tend to fall in, in when it comes to stage three Pokemon. <laughs> Sorry, Doctor, it's like <laughs> I'm afraid you've got stage three Pokemon. <laughs> um, oh, stage two. <laughs> when you have Pokemon with three stages of evolution. I have this thing where I tend to fall in love with the second stage evolution. Wait, 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 wait hold on. We need, we need something appropriate. Give me a second. Yeah. Play some fucking. Um. So like, and you know, this creates a problem because you're like, you want the Pokemon that you like the best to be with you for on your forever journey, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then it's like, well, I don't... I like Wartortle, but I don't like Blastoise as much. But if I don't have Blastoise, I'm probably going to get my ass kicked. <laughs> yeah. And Drizzile is a good is a good example. It's one of my more, most favorite uh, Pokemon in recent years in mm. its design. Also, Drizzile looks like it'd be fun to hang out with afterwards. Yeah, that's a good that's a good thought. Drizzile also looks again soft. That thumbs down though. <laughs> well, it can't really do anything else. It's got it's got the mittens. <laughs> <laughs> um I've never uh, seen Hakamo O. I ha Drizzile was from Sword and Shield and yes. was my <laughs> Uh, it's the second. It's the second evolution. Yeah, it turns it turns into Captain Finger Gun. Yeah, which is one of my favorite. Yeah, des Pokemon designs. <laughs> oh my god, I've I'm getting I'm so tired of this of the latest Pokemon trope where the tutorial takes 17 hours. <laughs> Just let me play the damn game. Did you motherfuckers learn anything from Skyrim? No one likes the intro. Like the only pe reason people do intro the intro in Skyrim anymore is if you're if is if you're doing fucking some crazy meme shit and you're going and so you could be like ah oh, we're playing no absolutely normal Skyrim and all the ha trees are hands yeah <laughs> and you can see Thomas the Tank Engine like doot, doot. you know what would have been a better intro in Skyrim would you know like how because it starts on that cart and you just sit there for a solid what like five ten minutes something yeah. like that something absurd like open with the fight sequence where you get captured yeah you know at least you know you're gonna get captured but at least there's like action immediately <coughs> right and then you and then you go through that whole thing so anyway so are we going with Drizzile yeah also I don't know. 
ha Hakamo'o kind of looks like it has very sharp, dangerous. Yeah, you can work around that. Well, like when it's just the claws, it's, it's like, like it feels like it has more. But like, imagine, so imagine trying to smash someone who has covered their arms with sharp frisbees. <laughs> I mean, it's like that's. That's it's, that's it's like dating someone with long fingernails and stiletto heels. You just gotta I would look out. I would rather I would rather date and smash the person who has clearly Wobbly. got a stash at home. <laughs> Wobbly. All right, so Drizzle it is. Yep. Also, we have 256 of these. Technically, 512 of them because I have to do mine after yours. <laughs> Whatever. So, <laughs> so Drizzle, let's go. Oof, here we go. So there are going to be some, especially early on, where it's like, <clears throat> all right, which is the lesser of two unsmashables? <laughs> like, which is the least <clears throat> passable? Well, here, and this this is particularly bad because it's like, hmm, car coal is made of rocks and right. fire. But is that more smashable or less smashable than terrifying alien spider that triggers my phobia. Now, technically, it's not a spider. It only has six legs. It has everything else about a spider. <laughs> Can't help but think of Marge Simpson when you look at Karkle. <laughs> it's like there's not really much to say here. It's just... It's just like, uh, which do, which would I run from the least? <laughs> I'm going to go with Carcoal because I can protect my dick, <laughs> it but I can't, slow. I can't protect my mental state. <laughs> All right. Carcoal it is. It's like, it's like asking me, what would you rather fuck? One of the boulders? that smash you in Dark Souls 2 or one of the spiders and I say the boulder I will fuck a boulder before I fuck it. <laughs> at least a spider that actually looks spidery so we'll go Carcoal. Carcoal it is, click <laughs> see ya alright we got <laughs> Wishy Washy versus Articuno I gotta go with Articuno Although it would be very cold, but I also feel like Wishy Washy doesn't need a smashing. What it needs is a hug <laughs> and maybe some gummy bears. I mean, smashing can include hugs. Now wait, is Wishy Washy the one that is actually a school of fish? I've never seen a Wishy Washy, so I could not tell you. Hey Chad, is Wishy Washy the one that's like a school of fish that somehow form into a giant fish? Apparently, chat doesn't know what half of these fuckers are, so... <laughs> I know what an Articuno is. <laughs> yeah, I feel like with a wishy-washy, I don't have something I'm smashing so much as I have... Uh, so much as I have... So much as I have something that's flesh-lighting. <laughs> Like, I feel like it's one-sided now, like... <laughs> All the way through, tag. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna go with Articuno. <laughs> Alright. Burb it is. Hello, Cray. Alright. Hip... Hip... Hippodon? I picked Hippowdon. a bad font for this. Hippodon? Hippodon versus Tyrant. <laughs> this is also tough. That's a good name. Tyrant? I, I like Tyrant. It's a... Adorable, but also yes. makes you feel like it's an ass. Like as much as Gen One is my favorite series of Pokemon, some of those names are bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Persian, what is it? It's a cat. <laughs> Slowpoke, what is it? It's got brain damage. It's slow. <laughs> <laughs> All like, right, it's just an actual word. Uh, this one like oozes sand. Yeah, like this Gross. is Gross. This is a Pokemon that Anakin would not smash. <laughs> You'd be like, no, it's in my dick. <laughs> uh I'm gonna go with Tyrant because it scares me less. 
because in real life, hippos are incredibly violent and, and unpredictable. And horrible. Yeah. And this one doesn't look... This is like that only plus horror. It's so. like it doesn't sweat. <laughs> it sands. Gross. <laughs> All right, Tyrant it is. Next. Oh, uh, here. Groudon versus Minior. Minior? Uh, Minior? That's, Minior? that's <laughs> what is this? It looks. What is that one Pokemon? Was it from. Three this generation three. Where this it was doesn't like, look like a Pokemon. This looks like an item. Yeah, it looks like an item you give the Pokemon the hole that improves its like fucking psychic abilities or something. But uh, but it all it's also making me think of that one Pokemon that looks like oh I forget what those statues are called. Oh I know what you're talking about though. Yeah yeah they're in th I've seen them in a few video games. Star Tropics had a boss. Yeah that was, like th one of them. Um, I'm in a conundrum because I don't know what part of Minior is a hole, <laughs> a cr is a creature <clears throat> at all. Yeah. Like, is the shell? It kind of looks like there's just a dead, pale zombie star you <laughs> encased this is a star in you a skeleton. rock. This is a star you like, skeleton. You just see, you just see its little horse star you tips poking out of the edges. Uh, Creighton says it peeks open, or breaks open, and the actual Pokemon is inside. It has armor that still image doesn't show. Well, here. A few Pokemon are not going to be good to choose with just still images. Well, still images is all I got. Well, we'll just do a very... Minier Pokemon. Whoa! <laughs> this one gets crazy looking. <laughs> um, I'm not seeing any images of it peeking out. No, you said, I think you meant it breaks open, not oh, peeks out. Okay, so it kind of looks like that, uh, it kind of looks like one of the star people from Mario Galaxy when it breaks oh, okay. open. Yeah. Although it's a lot crazier because <clears throat> it's also like, oh, they can hit. <laughs> they look like crazy fucking starburst candy <laughs> okay so um, that, but uh <laughs> but sharp <laughs> also grudon titanic legendary pokemon that wants to kill you like this thing is big <laughs> like articuno is big he's big <laughs> I mean, um, depends on what you're into. I'm gonna choose Minier, because despite maybe, like, the initial, like, <laughs> trying to bust don't. open the walnut at the beginning... <laughs> Please don't mime it. <laughs> you know, just crack, 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 you know, come on out, Minier. Or, you know, I guess train it so that it does that naturally, or maybe it can just do that normally, just like, kaboom! Also, don't train your Pokemon to smash. That's not a good thing. <laughs> That's just Pokemon grooming. <laughs> so, uh, I guess we're going with not killed. <laughs> yes. Wee! <laughs> if I'm going to go death by Snoo Snoo, I want to go death by Snoo Snoo with a Pokemon that will make that fun. Uh, okay, so we got Mistrivus versus Hoot Hoot. Well, I'm going to go Mistrivus. Because Mistrevis is also one of my favorite Pokemon. She's got a she's got a cute smile. Yeah, and she she just seems fun. Whereas Hoot Excuse Hoot, me. I would feel it boring and it stare into my soul. <laughs> <laughs> I like Hoot Hoots. I like Noctowls. They they were good Pokemon at the beginning of Gen Two, but I love Mistrevis's. <clears throat> so I will take a Mistrevis, please. All right, who's next? Wooloo and Sudowoodoo. <laughs> Sudowoodoo. <We got> Woo. <laughs> this is a lot of woo. Woo. <laughs> I'm going to choose Wooloo. I, I mean, this one's wood. <laughs> it's actually rock. Oh. It's a rock Pokemon. That's horrible. Right. I'm going to go Wooloo because... Shh, it's fluffy. And you get to use it as a pillow after. <laughs> a damp pillow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
you don't use that end. <laughs> also, bring a goddamn towel. Towel. What kind of monster are you? <laughs> it is a towel. <laughs> Get a towel to towel your towel. Choose Wulu. <laughs> I'm familiar with the pseudo Udo command. <laughs> pseudo Udo. All right, Jang Jang Mo O and Tyrog. Tyrog. I may mispronounce some of these, but in my defense, their Jang Pokemon Mo -Oh. and Pokemon Tyrog. names have always been stupid. Um, <clears throat> and they're only getting stupider. Pseudo Udo is meant to be like a mimic. It hides as a tree. It it tries to be the tree. <laughs> Tyrog looks like he's getting ready to throw a pitch. Yeah, I feel like he's about to like try to hut hut hike my balls. <laughs> and I'm uh, like, I'm hey. not I'm not I'm not into that. I don't want my balls smashed. <laughs> That's not the kind of mommy I want in my relationships. <laughs> so I'm gonna go Jang Mo O. It, it's because it looks like it's a lot more handleable than the other one. Well, it's apparently it's very small, so hold it like hamburger, <laughs> and then fuck. Well, Tyrogue's kind of on the small <laughs> side too. Mm. Jang Mo O has a little more meat on it than Tyrogue yeah. does. All right, Jang Mo O, it is next. We've got what? The whatever the fuck? fuck this and, huh? <laughs> Runiriga, Runiriga. I don't and Tapu Koku. I don't Coco. think I've seen Runerigus. I know Tapu I've, Koko. I haven't seen either of these. I think that's another. Tapu I think Tapu Koko. Tapu Koko is another legendary from the uh, from the Hawaiian games. Well, which one? It, do, it has a kind of a Hawaiian -y name. Right, Tapu Koko. I don't think I've ever seen Runerigus. Nope. <laughs> it looks horrible. Runer Greek. Oh, that's a face. Like it's like it's like a Pokemon head. Yeah, See it? yeah, I saw that. That doesn't make it look in. In fact, that just makes my brain do okay. more gymnastics. So what I'm gonna guess is that this Pokemon like starts out as like a wall with drawings on it, and, it's like, and then it like breaks apart. Yeah, it's and definitely this. Ghost Rock. Oh yeah, Ground Ghost. Ground Ghost, that explains it. This is Electric Fairy, which sounds like a great band name. <laughs> we are Electric, Electric Fairy! <laughs> Rubergrius. Rub that doesn't help, Cobalt. <laughs> also, it's not a Rub, it's Rune. Yeah, it's Rune. Runerigus. Runerigus. Rubery Goldberg. <laughs> 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 Alright, so, uh... Uh, I'm I'm gonna go Tapu Koko. Yeah, like at least it would be interesting to look at. Again, it's got the oh, I got I don't know what Renaragus is. That could be a legendary. It looks crazy enough for it, but I'm gonna go Tapu Koko. All right. It See looks like it makes man. a mean Mai Tai. Jellicent versus Ferroseed. Jellicent because I. Pharisee, yeah, grass It's got steel. the mustache thing well, going on. There's though. the female variant. <clears throat> like, I have choices. Panda looks like a biker gang guy in a movie who turns out to be super gay. What? <laughs> Where did that come from? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Hold on, my camera is... So, Jellicent, high. Ghostwater. Um, most ghost Pokemon... With the exception of like Miss Drevis, are pretty like low key spooky. terrifying. Pretty spooky. <laughs> like Miss Drevis's thing was, it likes to sneak up behind people and go boo. <laughs> that was Miss Drevis. Then they get the ones later where it's like, this Pokemon exists because it tore someone's face off and made it a mask, um, and they are dead, and they are in the mask, and you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> Uh, is Smash defined strictly as dick in Orif- Oh, hold on, I need my mic back. Is Smash defined strictly as dick in Orifice? Uh, we're gonna define Smash as some form of physical interaction. So, like, if you pull Abra, you know, it can't be, like, psychically making you jizz. Like, it's gotta be, Which like- Which is also- that's cheating. Yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> fucking- Yeah, jealous- like a lot of poke a lot of ghost Pokemon are like that. It's like, oh look at how delightful it is, and it's like it kidnaps children and turns them into bagels. 
that bagel you're eating? Mm, could be a child. You'll <laughs> never know. It depends on if you've got a uh, Mrs. Lovett. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so Yamask evolves into Renaragus. Okay. okay, that explains why it's it so looks so familiar. Uh, All right. But I'm gonna go with Jellicent because there's no angle on this thing. <laughs> like there's no there's there's no way in. <laughs> well, yeah. Also because I'm pretty sure it's uh, mid stage, sort of like metapod, like a cocoon. Like and steel. you can't you can't Wait, fuck a metapod because all its holes are encased. But it's, it's I would ex wouldn't that be bug though? No, it just it could be like an in between or it might be a beginning stage. Mm. Who knows? Okay, so we're going but, with Jellicent. I yeah, guess. we're going with Jellicent. Quick, onward. Who's next? Ekans versus Elekid. Elekid is like the it's, prologue of. Uh, Electabuzz, right? Yes. Okay. When did Elekid get introduced? Was that Gen 3 think, or Gen 2? I think it... I think it was Gen 2, but it might have been Gen 3. It was one of those two. Um, hmm. Whichever one of those got real... got a real hard-on for doing, like, prologue Pokemon. Yeah, there was one game where it was, like, a whole bunch <laughs> of those, like, Igglybuff and Cleffy and Pichu, and it's like, stop. <laughs> No one likes these. <laughs> because what it meant was, oh, now I don't just get a fucking Pikachu. Now I just have to, God, now I have to get a Pichu <laughs> and deal with its shitty stats until it can evolve into something decent. Yeah. So um, we've, got, we've got Sleeve and... <laughs> and we've got uh, Electric Koosh Ball. There's so... So like, many Pokemon are just is, orbs with limbs. It, it, worm, orb, <laughs> like orb. What did, what did we just? What did we work out? It was like worms, orbs, and wings. <laughs> like all Pokemon are one of those three: worm, orb, or wings. Because that's what fits into a square. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go Ekans because it can wrap. It's got that ability. Spinarak versus Deoxys. Christ. <laughs> uh, well, this is a good example to point out. <laughs> okay. Spinarak's <laughs> eyes are just a little too far apart, so it's like blep. <laughs> yeah, it is blepping as hard as an insect can blep. And it's even got bleppy on the back of it. Yeah, it's got the nonplussed face on it. Just dual blep. Um... In addition to Vore, you have anal beads potential. <laughs> oh, yeah, and Ekans, it's the rattle. Yeah, there you go. It's tail. <laughs> spider. Well, see, here's the thing I'm talking about. Like, this spider. It's kind of cute. It's a cute spider, yeah. as opposed to the last one. It's also not still not a spider. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's the thing. I've noticed that, like, all its spider Pokemon are never spiders. Do you think they do that on purpose? To try to <laughs> limit arachnophobia impact? Probably, or it also might just them being fucking lazy. Because it's sort of like, you know, <clears throat> oh, we'll draw, we'll just draw Mickey Mouse with fucking three fingers. Mm. Because that makes it easier to animate. So it's like, well, we could spend all our time. Like, I think the only exception to a Pokemon that actually has the number of legs it would normally have would be things like Sizzlipede. <laughs> where it's like a billion little legs on it. Spinarak but is also height one foot eight inch, so a little under two feet. It's a big, it's a big spoder. So, so it's about the size of a decently sized plush doll. Yeah. It's a little plushy with a spike. I don't trust <coughs> Deoxys. It's kind of like Mewtwo, and I feel like it's just as likely to tear me in half during sex <laughs> as it is to be ha just ha you know keep it cool man Hold on. in fact deoxys kind of has that problem where it looks like an anime villain <laughs> like this seems like something that would bust out of a star in the middle of fucking gundam <laughs> and start blowing up battalions i really like this tv but it's not good at upscaling at all 
<clears throat> anyway. Um, but <laughs> I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna choose the oxes. Beep. Because I feel like you gotta live once. <laughs> I verse, and you might only live once. Yeah, for all I know, I chose the most dangerous legendary to fuck. All right, next up we got Ipom and Staraptor. Well, Staraptor. Well, I'm gonna go with Ipom. It's got one hand. <laughs> it's got a fucking what do you call that from Rick and Morty? I uh the plump plumbus. Sure. <laughs> it's got a plumbus. <clears throat> it's been a while since I watched ass. Rick and Morty. <laughs> It also has flippers. Like, it just looks fun. Staraptor looks like it's too busy. <laughs> the Oxus looks like something Goku would kill in 37 episodes. Let's be honest, most Pokemon I love are. Shit like that. <laughs> I was, uh, I forget which tech YouTuber I was watching, but they said that they, they were doing a test of like a cooler, like a room, like a room cooler, like an air cooling unit. And they were like, to test it, First, I heated the room up to 84 degrees by turning on an Intel MacBook for five minutes. <laughs> I was like, Fuck. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Ipom because it looks <clears throat> like fun. Star Raptor looks like it's too busy side eyeing my cat. <laughs> Hold on. Like, you motherfucker, okay. you better not do anything. <laughs> you mean those aren't flippers? They're 100% they're flippers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, Apom it is. Ipom, Apom, whatever. Who gives a shit? Put your dick in it. Next, hey, Palm. <laughs> Mesprit versus Happiny. Uh, I'm gonna go Mesprit. I like the uh, bedroom eyes it's giving, and also it's it's got the legendary appeal again. Yeah, and, but what, also and these long whatever they are, they seem like they could be uh, fun. Fun, yeah. Plus flippers again. <laughs> flippers with thumbs, a yeah. step above. It's true. All right, Mesprit. Yeah. Next. Whoop. Uh, Venipede versus Naganadel. <laughs> so, adorable little bug or giant hypodermic needle that's okay. going to <laughs> suck out my intestines through my ass. Hear, yeah, hear me out. Deep insertion. <laughs> I'm. It's poison dragon? I'm pretty sure that that's... That's, uh... You're a human kebab? I should have looked up sizes for all these and put them in the database. Yeah. I didn't even think about it. <clears throat> maybe for next time. Maybe when uh, maybe when we make Soren and Coda and Cleo do this. <laughs> Isn't Venipede something to Protoss made? Not without enough pylons. <laughs> uh, we're going to go with Venipede because it looks friendlier. Because <laughs> less IE. <laughs> yeah. That looks friendly? Yeah. <laughs> he looks crabby. Spe Orb <laughs> Spiel versus Kingdra. Uh, I'm gonna go with Spiel. Uh, this There's, is the plushiest Pokemon. It is. Like, that is a Pokemon that I would love uh, to have as a plushie, just because it just looks so fun. It, it like does. you put that on your bed, and, and anyone who off. comes in is gonna be like. <clears throat> Dude, <laughs> nice orb. <laughs> so I'm gonna go feel. <laughs> Choosing the orb, orb. All right, Volibi versus Arduino. <laughs> what? It's Arduino. Okay. <laughs> it's like you can program on it. <laughs> Dribble, feel, <laughs> throw for three points. It fe it feels like it would be into it too. Like you'd be like, dun, 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 and be like, wee, wee. Spiel looks like it would be into everything. <laughs> Nothing makes a Spiel unhappy. Alright, so we gotta address something right now, and that's the fact that some Pokemon come with fucking chastity cages. <laughs> it's, but it's got a heart on it. <laughs> it's, it's a black heart, meaning... <laughs> also, it's got a you little You better smirk. be willing to work extra hard, bitch. It, it, it does have this... See, it has this sassy smirk, like... <laughs> I bet you can't, bro. <laughs> I dare you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the top of a skull. Oh, I see it. Like, this is the nose hole. That only makes it worse. <laughs> it's got its little chicken legs sticking out of the eyes. Oh, but the legs are coming out of the eye hole, so you could remove the skull. <laughs> 
Yeah, dude. It's always weird when you have Pokemon that have, like, accessories. Yeah. Where it's like, you're not really sure what's going on. Like, Cubone. Like, Cubone, I'm sorry, is a, is, if it comes up, unless it comes up with something worse, Cubone's a pass because I don't want to fuck something that's wearing its skull, mother's skull. That's a bit weird. <laughs> that's some fucking psycho yeah, shit. Yeah, but this one could be wearing your mother's <laughs> skull. <laughs> Which makes it worse. Like, I could have known that person at some point. Now, and I'm gonna so I'm gonna go with Audino, which feels like a chancy d designed by someone with better taste. Right. Audino, whoops. Maybe if Volibee wasn't wearing a skull. Hold that for a second. I dropped my vein. <laughs> you fool. It just likes to fall off constantly. I need like a vape holder where I can go ka chunk. <laughs> All right, Torkoal versus Ledian. <laughs> Ledian looks like an anime character. This is our first from bug, like, is it? No, no. What no, am I talking we've, about? We've, we've had spiders like crazy. Yeah. No one in chat is allowed to say spiders aren't bugs. <laughs> the uh, Torkoal is like looks like fucking turtle version of Cheech Marin. <laughs> Just like. <laughs> and Ledian's looking over like, whoa. <laughs> How much weed are you? Are you a living bong? <laughs> oh, I was gonna do a vape gag and my vape died. Oh, you fool. Is it just, is the battery dead? Do I need, no, it just turned off when it fell on the ground. Oops. We'll hand that over, because I don't have vape Torkoal. anymore. A panda left his vape somewhere. It's in Susie's car. I'm not gonna get it back till tomorrow. Um... I'm gonna go with Ledian. Okay. Uh, Torkoal looks real chill. It does, but it kind of looks chill in the same way that Slowpoke looks chill. Mm -hmm. And it feels less like we're having a mutual smash Slow. and more like we're having a smash and then it does realizes what happened <laughs> afterwards. You're, you're having a smash. Like, I don't feel like <clears throat> if I'm pounding a Slowpoke. I don't know if it actually has consented yet, <laughs> because it's, it's slow. <laughs> it's neurons haven't fired yet. It's going to be like, whoa, dude, I didn't whoa. consent to this. And I'm like, great, thanks. <laughs> like <laughs> Zootopia sloth. Yeah. If you're going to fuck a slow poke, you got to move and think <laughs> at the speed of a slow poke. And I'm no. <laughs> <laughs> Ledian it is. Ledian. That's why I like Letty's. Letty's cute. Okay, Noivern. Noivern. Or Rickwaz. Wait a minute. There's another bat Pokemon that starts with Noi. Is this what Coda is named after? Because his Twitch name is Noi Obscura. What is. There's another bat? Yeah, it's like Zubat, the. Zubat. Golbat. It's like Noi something. Crowbat. It, these are not attached to that batch of bats at all. There's like a small there's like, there's, version of this. There's like the little guy that's <clears> like Oh, apparently it's just Noibat. Oh, Noibat. <laughs> oh, it's like, because it's, it's like the evolved form yeah. of Noibat. Okay. So I was like, is this is this what Coda named his uh, Twitch channel after? Why not everyone starts off as Pokesona at some point? <laughs> we didn't. <laughs> You trans. We that's were, because we were we're cool. old. That's because we're old blood. Old bitch, basic gray muzzles. Uh, I'll go with Noivern. Yeah, this one looks. It looks like a worm it wings. Lo <laughs> it looks like a fucking <laughs> intercontinental ballistic missile given life. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd rather fuck something that isn't going to explode. <laughs> All right. I know Rayquaza is like a lightning dragon flyery, but Noivern Quick. looks <clears throat> fun. Noivern is squish, squishy. Hmm. Dublade and Fungus. Neither of these are good options. <laughs> hmm. What do I want on my <clears throat> dick? Swords <laughs> or mushrooms? <laughs> Do I want to stop having a dick now or later? <laughs> I guess I'll go fungus because at least then there's like maybe treatment options if something <laughs> weird happens down there. You know? Get saved. 
Yeah, mushrooms are soft, at least. Um, oh, we got our first evolution. Umbreon versus Quagsire. Uh, Umbreon. <clears throat> yep, Umbreon. Quagsire seems like it'd be a little more into slowpoke mental territory. A bug bug challenge. Durant Spug versus steel. Paris. More mushrooms. <laughs> Again, technically, not fuck. Okay, you know what? I'm going Durant because Paris would be necrophilia. That's isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? Because isn't the it Pokemon the, is technically the, the mushrooms. mushrooms. Okay, but wait a minute. The Pokemon is technically the mushrooms. What is this? Because all creatures in the Pokemon world are Pokemon. Is there a version of this without mushrooms? There must be. You just never see it. It it could be a thing where the species have converged in such a way where it's like. Just the bugs are grown by the mushrooms to be hosts. So it's like so a they completely symbiotic relationship. It's maybe parasitic relationship where it's like you are grown just to be hollowed out. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with Durant because sure it's steel and sharp and pokey, but at least it's alive. <laughs> <laughs> Next. <laughs> Qfant versus Wobbuffet. <laughs> Wah! 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 <laughs> I'll have the wah! Pancakes. Pan <laughs> <laughs> um. This is such a dumb looking Pokemon. It's it looks nose. like it's got a backwards hat on. <laughs> yeah, but the nose looks like something you'd see on a D&D &D monster. That's true. Uh, so it's got eyes on its tail. <laughs> I'll go with Kifant. Steel type? Wow, just steel. Also, again, orb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we got psychic. Psychic in the same way that Psyduck is psychic. <laughs> yeah, as in lame. I'll go with Qfant, because at least it looks like it knows what's going on. <laughs> Qfant is a copper digging excavator. Oh, so see you. Oh. Oh, oh neat. So Qfant. I'll take Qfant. Qfant moves on to the next round. Next up is Swirlix and Golduck. <laughs> Blip. <laughs> Blip. <laughs> We're getting all the bleppy Pokemon. <clears throat> I, s I thought Swirlix had legs. Well, what's this thing? It's clearly it's maybe dick. It, maybe it's a flipper. It's a dick. Lots of Pokemon have flippers. Dick. Swirlix is like cotton candy-ish. More <laughs> Foodimon. <laughs> also, I agree with Creighton. There is not a single thought behind these eyes. Head empty. <laughs> Only blip. <laughs> blip. Uh, I'll go with Golduck. <clears throat> All right, whack. Next, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> Gible, Gible versus Gible, Luxio. Gible. Uh, Luxio, is it taking Lu Luxio. Luxio's got it's got Lux in its name. Yeah, it's fancy. <laughs> the Luxio, and also it's not one hundred percent bite your dick off mouth. <laughs> this is like a, this is like Cat Shark, except I don't know. It's very sharky, but also stumpy. <laughs> Was Sharky the dog from Eek the Cat? Yes. What's her face's dog that hated Eek? Yeah. I'll take a Luxio, please. Luxio. Yeah, it is. It kind of just looks like Kimba. <laughs> Kimba the blue, black, and yellow lion. Pangoro. One hundred percent. Pangoro. Uh, one of my mains from X and Y. Nice. Uh, as a no mushrooms, if possible. I'll take a mushroom if it's a cute <clears throat> mushroom, but this is this creepy. Lo this looks like Mario should be throwing it. <laughs> Twee! Do, 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 do. All right, Pangoro. Pangoro. <laughs> Pangoro, my beloved. We classify that as the as a mommy slash daddy Pokemon. This, this bracket wants you to smash a mushroom <laughs> real badly. <laughs> we got Breloom and Drudagon. Well, this is what I'm talking about. At least this looks like an like flora fauna, right? This isn't just some weird mushroom thing that's like 
Horror shroom. Horror shroom. This is like <laughs> an intelligent mushroom. Easter burger gee. <laughs> and we got Drudagon. Drudagon. Who looks like an accordion. Judge Drudagon. <laughs> He does kind of look like you could be like, <laughs> Donald Duck would get furious trying to play him. <laughs> the best thing Disney has ever made. I will never, ever let them forget that they once had Mickey Mouse just point a gun straight at Donald Duck's fucking face. It we was literally the best joke they've ever made. Um, right. I'll go Breloom. Oh. I'll, I'd fuck that mushroom. <laughs> I, I'd fuck that mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next challengers. Whoop, Wormpole versus Reshiram. Dude. <laughs> I forgot that Reshiram's a really cool looking Pokemon. Uh, also, super furry bait on this one. Yeah, it really <clears throat> is. Also, I'm not a fan of Wormpole's uh, ass face. <laughs> Like, I like a good ass, but it should be in the ass region. <laughs> oh, enjoy your <laughs> latest quote. What is this thick fish? <laughs> what was that from? I don't know. What were we looking at that was both a fish and a dick? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'll take Reshiram, please. Whip. It also looks like it has cleavage already. Hunter versus Slacking. Um... This, this is tricky, because, again, with Haunter, it's kind of like, what's the bit that I do to help you It's got out, the tongue. You know? Yeah, but does that help them out? Like, I don't want this to be a one-sided smashing. <laughs> I want them to have fun, too. I mean, it, but it likes to lick. And the, and the lick is tingly. <laughs> <laughs> the lick is paralysis-inducing, yes. So, like, it kind of feels like the only hole entry on Haunter is, like, unless we learn otherwise, the only hole entry on Haunter is the one that's going to make you just <laughs> have a bad time. I don't know. It might be a good time. Dick goes in mouth. <laughs> Haunter can possess you. <laughs> it was a trap the whole time. If Haunter possesses you and then you and then makes you jerk off, is that masturbation or sex? <laughs> Paralysis that will last till you die. But on the other hand, slacking looks like it just would never be into it. You know? Yeah. Plus, just, it looks, I don't know. Prehistoric. It it's looks got like, like all the worst at features of monkey and pig. Yeah, it looks <clears throat> like an ancient ancestor of Miss Piggy, if we're honest. So much uh, start. Well, I'll, I'll take Haunter. Get out of here. We'll never see. Uh, well, you know, we we'll see. All Pine right. Toad versus Gurder. Gurder. A lot of Pokemon Gurder. seem to have Durr in Durr. their name. <laughs> Durr. But no deer have Durr in their name for some reason. Um. This one looks so veiny. Yeah, no, it looks like the worst part of. When people make easy to get its blood big drawn, dicks, <laughs> like I've always hated that. That's that's like a, just a too common a trope in porn, ribbed for especially her amongst furries, yeah. where they're like they go way too crazy with the veins on a dick to the point where it no longer looks like veins. It looks like they super glued ramen noodles <laughs> to their cock, and it just looks uncomfortable. That's why I tend not to draw <laughs> veins on dicks at all. <laughs> like, it looks like if you, if they, like, jerked it, they just rip shit off. It's, <laughs> it's too much. Also, it looks like you'd make it come by honking the nose. Honk. Like, that nose looks like it's sensitive. I'm gonna go Politoed. Plus, mm -hmm. it looks so happy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Cacturn. Cacturn versus Beldum. Oh. This this is a turret. It's a, <laughs> it's a fleshlight. <laughs> is what it is. Uh, I'll take Cacturn. Yeah, but the face, though. This face looks like fucking... Uh, 
Scarecrow from Batman okay. the Animated Series. I don't want to hear you criticizing <laughs> spooky faces when you are 100% on board with Femme Diablo. <laughs> okay, but that's different. Femme Diablo is not that far off from, like, Turian structure. Also, but it's still, those hips don't lie. It's still scary. The Snickers bar line. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, wait, Snickers. the veins of oh. the Snickers bar line. Yeah, I'm gonna go Cacturn. All right, spiky, but you know if you're careful. Yeah. Also, I saw that line in between. Also, those spikes didn't look super spiky. They weren't yeah, like kind of stumpy. They weren't like projected out, so it's like it doesn't feel like I might. Would, I would I'd only get hurt if I hit it too hard. All right, we got Manectric and Marsh Shadow. Marsh Shadow looks like it's always got that like anime like done <laughs> like menacing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Manectric. That's a that's a hat. <laughs> it's got a hat. That's quite a hat. <laughs> Looks like it showed up to the red carpet event having made a huge mistake. <laughs> and it looks like the before and after memes of someone going into the like barber or hairdresser and being like, get my hair cut. Now and then it's like the next one after and they're like bald or something crazy's after their chair and they're like, what the fuck? Now <clears throat> for for the sake of making this e easy uh, we're gonna go like a lot of these Pokemon Pokemon have other forms. We're gonna stick with what's on the screen So that we're not looking up all 27 versions of Charizard, right? Like what it's this one. This is the one you're deciding smash or pass My problem with these is both of them is like I Can't read these guys look at this face though. This dude knows he has made a hat error. <laughs> that guy went into the barber and said the <laughs> wrong instructions, but was too proud to say that he made a mistake. His mom dressed him, and now he has to go to school <laughs> like this. He kind of he kind of <laughs> looks like a failed Halloween costume, like the cardboard just did not cut right, <laughs> and so he's just out on tr Halloween, just like, mm -hmm. oh, what are you supposed to be? A mistake? <laughs> Fuck you, I'm making your house. <laughs> Meanwhile, Marshadow has just realized that she's in a Smash or Pass tournament. <laughs> you done. <laughs> but is she going, you better not choose me, menacing, <laughs> blah, 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 or is she saying, you better choose me, menacing, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> uh, I'll go with Marshadow. I can't read either of their thoughts, so I'll go with the one that's more interesting looking. Yes, they do have the ability to freely change some of their forms, but this one came to the tournament dressed like this. <laughs> so did Manectric. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we said Marshadow? Yeah. Ow, my ears. What was that? I don't know. It was weird. Alright, Imolga! Imolga! And Imolga! <laughs> Imolga! Quick, quick! Get it out! Leave it! <laughs> Throw it away! <laughs> We do not talk about Hypno here. <laughs> Chinchow versus Avalug. Hmm, electric fish or literal glacier? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the electric fish. <laughs> Buzz. <laughs> Garbodor Glaceon, versus... <laughs> Glaceon. Shoo, get out of here. Get Garbodor shoo, is get one lost. of my least favorite Pokemon ever. Knit arena immediately take no, versus no, well you don't want I disco shroom what is this it's oh it's one of those crazy like ultra beasts where it's just like this thing where they had Pokemon from another dimension <clears throat> come through Weird. and they were all like freaky and terrifying which was kind of cool but at the same time I don't like fucking Tim Curry the candy clown. <laughs> Disco ball yeah, thing it here. It does kind of look like a disco clown. But more importantly, Nidorina is my all-time favorite Pokemon. All right. So, on she goes. And she is the sassiest. <laughs> Frogadier versus Over Overquill? Oh, what the hell is <laughs> Overquill. this? Overquill! Yes. Yeah. That sounds like the... That sounds like 
just the worst American version of an anime villain. I'm over Quill. <laughs> also, too many Quill. Q, Q and W. Come Quill. on. Uh, Frogadier, I guess. Like, it didn't need to be a Q. It's just a K over Quill. It gets the idea across. It, shoot, go away. You're dumb. <laughs> Teddy Ursa. Teddy, oh, no. All I can think of when I see Teddy Ursa anymore is that Jello apocalypse plays. <laughs> Only wound can wound wound. <laughs> Pass me some more. Hmm. Um, I'm gonna go with Teddy Ursa. Dusko gives really old guy vibes. Yeah, but not like in a good <clears throat> old person way. Because, you know, you there's nothing wrong with older people when it comes to smash or pass, right? Right. But, like, this feels less like, you know, adorable old woman who still has it and more like <clears throat> fucking... <laughs> Master Roshi grade <laughs> withered <laughs> old prune who can barely stand Do up. Do these anymore. graphics actually look like this, or is this just the TV? I think it, I think it actually looks like that. You have to remember that, like that's an art picture. Yeah. Also, that's one light in there. Yeah, I know. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So not uh, Teddy or so. <laughs> I don't know Dust Skull's deal. All right. Have fun with wound. <laughs> <laughs> Ratata or Ursary? Uh, big, big, <laughs> big. big. Yeah, Ursaring has the bonus in that it doesn't feel like I'm going to like put dick in and rip in half. <laughs> <laughs> like Ratata's all Pokemon are concession four. All Pokemon are stretchy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so again, furry rules. Yes, <laughs> we got some otter space back here. Also. <laughs> Mouth to ass is straight tube. <laughs> yeah, that's that's also important. There's a uh, look look furry. in look in Ratata. Use Ratata as telescope. <laughs> yeah, see in see in furry anatomy, you've got the esophagus, and then you've got like the what's what's it called that goes down to the because you've got the windpipe. And then the and then the stomach tube, which I think is the esophagus, right. and then you've got a third tube that just goes right back to the ass. <laughs> yeah, it's like got, a bypass. They've got the dick axis <laughs> tube. <laughs> All right. Uh, so what are we, where what are we going? Uh, tech. Although Ratata is surprisingly impressive as a Pokemon. <laughs> Like, there's a reason why there is an entire category of strategy in P Pokemon PvP that involves a using a level 1 Ratata. <laughs> is that, that was a, actually effective. Is that the top percent of Ratata? What, what does that mean? Yeah, fear. What was it? Fucking evil... As... Rousey. <laughs> Fucking evil something rat. <clears throat> Uh, uh, ba 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 ba. I'll go with you know what? I'll go with Ratata. Kaka! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! Zekron <laughs> mm. versus Carvana. Metal Gear Edge versus failed Angry Fish Edge. <laughs> It's nothing but edge here. It, seriously, Zekrom <clears throat> looks like some sort of Metal Gear Kinda robot. Does. But, I mean, you know, robots can have... Also, is that like a turbine, except it's pointed at his ass? <laughs> like, where's the intake coming from? On the... F it, it looks like it's coming in the front, <laughs> but, in the direction right. he'd be running, but right. his ass is gonna yeah. be in the way. Like, if that gets going... He's just going to get s turned inside out. <laughs> um, <clears throat> these are both terrible choices. Focus so. Sash, Endeavor, a Quick Attack, Rat Attack. Right, that's, but... That's Fee Quack. That's Fisek Quack. You oh. can't just make... You can't just make... Uh, 
acronyms be whatever you want. Yes, you can. You can't put 40 words into an acronym and, just, and say that only three of the letters in there count, and they're not even the beginning letters. Yes, you can. <laughs> but I... The, the other one, it, the acronym also stood for, like, fucking evil something rat. Uh, I'm gonna choose Zekrom because I think it's a slightly cooler design than yeah. Carvana. I don't know how big it is, how angry it is, but also it's not fish. <laughs> not that looks, fish. It looks less <clears throat> angry than Carvana. Somehow. Also, Carvana sounds like a bad website to go look at pictures of cars and jack off to them. <laughs> there is That's, no non-spiky point on this fish. There are some soft-looking parts. <laughs> like the eyeball. <laughs> Um, Zekrom it is. Carvana, Carvana sounds like the smasher pass for cars <laughs> website. Makuhita versus Simisage. Makuhita looks too much like Majin Buu. Yeah, and also it's a also bag. a bag. <laughs> but Simisage has that stupid pompadour. <laughs> But I guess I'll take Simmons Sage, because at least it's not a Majin bag. Plus, I mean, he's confident. <laughs> he looks like he'd be a JoJo character if they were all monkeys. <clears throat> Sandigast oh. versus Halucha. Halucha one because it's not fucking Sandigast. <laughs> Again, sand. But also, I do like Halucha's design. I think it's fun. He's like, wah! Woohoo! Also, it's a fighting type, so it's got it's got a. <laughs> It'll kick your ass. It's got armpits. Oh, what what's that word that starts with V? <clears throat> that's like energy. V. V. Oh, V. I don't, vigor? Vim? vigor. Vigor. That's got it's got vim and vigor. So you know that's mm. better in bed than you know a sand that looks <laughs> like you, you you just uh, it just found out that you were doing it. Also, mom. it was like transparent. <laughs> that's oh. Weird. Licky Licky versus Charmeleon! Ah, uh, Charmeleon, please. Yeah, this is, I mean, it's got the tongue action, but... I, I'd take Lick a Tongue over Licky Licky. Licky Licky looks like a horrible com... It looks like an actual hybrid that happened between a Chansey and a Lick a Tongue that neither consented to. And it's to. got Wi-Fi. <laughs> oh, it does have Wi-Fi. <laughs> Beep <clears throat> Alright, Lee Vanny versus Swoobat. Um, is that thing a giant hole in the front of its face, or is that just a spot? I don't know. Because that will affect my judgment. <laughs> because if that's just a giant hole leading directly to its brain, <laughs> I'm not cool with that. <laughs> It'd be weird. Uh, Sandy Guest has small bones of small Pokemon that it's dragged under. I made the great. I made a good choice. <laughs> you know, what? I'm gonna go with Levani. It's cute. Just because it looks like it. In this case, I feel like it's, uh, what's the word? It's daintiness. Mm -hmm. It's, it's got, it's got, uh, it's got, um, it's got um, elven energy. Yeah. Very elegant. Yeah. Elegance. That's what I'm looking for. You know, it's elegance. Like I don't always go for <laughs> elegance. You know, sometimes I just want a big beefy woman or something, yeah. but like, you know, sometimes Elegance helps. Also, this thing's mouth goes clear from eye to eye. A lot of Pokemon do that. <laughs> yeah, that's its nostril, Levani. <laughs> I'm not comfortable with a Pokemon that I can just look at its brain. Right, we got Hon Honchcrow and Vivillin. Vivillin. This Vivalon. thing. Uh, I'm going to take Honchcrow. It's got... I mean, it's doing that bird thing where it's like, hi, sup. <laughs> the store is this way. <laughs> Scrulp versus Cacnea. Cacnea. Cac more spiky plants. I'm going to take Cacnea because Scrulp looks like it's having a bad time <laughs> all the time forever. It looks withered. It's the Squidward of Pokemon. <laughs> You want a bone, Squidward? We sell food here, sir. <laughs> also, orb. <laughs> yep, orb. Whip. Next up, Squavet versus Vibrava. This thing looks 
too much like mouth. <laughs> like if like you, what if you actually went to feed it and do that thing where it's like, you know, you're looking, it's like, oh look at its cute little mouth, and it would be like How? <laughs> like if you if you watch um Oh, what's that YouTube channel? Nat oh, Natural Habitats. If you watch Natural Habitats, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> this thing is horrifying. Like, if you, when you see a hamster actually eat shit, and you're just like, whoa, you've got way too much mouth. But I'm going to choose Squovit. Oh, fun fact, the villain is number 666 in the complete decks. Hmm. So we're going with... Squovit. Squovit. Begone, thought... Weavile versus Dwebble. Weavile, please. Because yeah. I always like the Sneasel line. And Sneasel was one of my Pokemon from Gen 2, so, Gen 2, so I would have loved a Weavile if it existed Whish. then. And, oh, there's Noibat. Noibat. Noibat versus Tangela. Noibat has physical form that I am familiar with. Tangela <laughs> is nothing but a hentai monster. Yeah, but so, which, so the question is, do I want familiar form or, or do I want time? Or do I want to sacrifice my soul to the lewd gods <laughs> on the off chance that it happens to be something that I'm into? We sacrificed our souls to the lewd gods when we started. Uh, I'm gonna take Noibat. Whoop. Another bat moves up the ranks. Next up, we have Magmortar and Cursola. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. The one on the right just looks like. A jizz ghost. This thing is managing to look sad and scared. And screaming at the same time. <laughs> like I said, it looks like a jizz ghost. Like, am I am I parsing this correctly that there's a scared, horrified orb inside a screaming? No, I think uh, I think coral? you're getting it. Wait, like it's wasn't like, it's there been a Pokemon swallowed? that was like Corsola, which was like this adorable <clears throat> coral me. orb? Oh no. Is, is this, this like a dead cor- This is a commentary on the dying seas is what this is. Oh. On all the dying coral. Curs Cursola is the dead reanimated body cor ghost of a Corsola. I can't fuck it. I can't fuck that. I'm gonna go with the mag mortar, even though my dick will probably burn off. <laughs> Heracross versus Trico. <laughs> I mean, this dude has seen some shit. <laughs> A lot of bug Pokemon has seen some shit. I don't know what it is about the bug life, man, but like, you, if you're a bug, you see what others will never see. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go with Trico. Yeah. He's got some sass. <laughs> Is that sass? Ah, uh, Squirtle. Uh, yeah, what it... I like what those, I like those monkey hair. Pokemon, but... Squirtle. It's, it's, the, it's this thing. <laughs> he looks like a broccoli. Squirtle. Next up is... Verdir and Greninja. I gotta go with Greninja. Because Greninja's... Like, it's only off-putting factor of Greninja is its tongue scarf. But, like, you know, you put that away. <laughs> yeah, it can put it away, all right. Weird Ear looks judgmental. <clears throat> Crobat versus Mary. Gotta, I gotta go sheep, man. <laughs> Just You can use Mary to towel off the Wulu. <laughs> <laughs> this, this harem's getting out of hand. Dugong versus Cleffa. I'll take Dugong. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, they both seem happy, but also orb. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with an this, orb. This is kind of a thick worm. <laughs> like, Greninja can do all the way through with its tongue. I feel, I feel like all the way through is a far too common tag <laughs> in, this, uh, in this tournament. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go with Dugong. It's a lot. It's a lot more elegant and has much more going for it. Brion versus Glammeow. I like Glammeow's sass better. Mhm. Mm I know Brion turns into like a literal mermaid. Okay. Wait, wait, fuck some rabbit. wax or something <laughs> that actually has some physical appeal. Just, just also. I'll take the reboot, please. <laughs> But the wax, though. <laughs> I don't need my balls waxed right now. LGM or Meowstick? 
with two options. <laughs> you get you can have <laughs> you can have blue raspberry or white chocolate. Mm. <laughs> Litwick also burns up the souls of those nearby. I mean, I, you don't need your soul. I'm gonna take the meow stick. This now, is that, Marvin the depressed robot. <laughs> I like I, my brain went with Elvis from oh, Perfect from, Dark. Yeah, that too. Like that's what my it was like. Oh, it's like a weird and it's got Simon robot games Elvis. on its hands. Does that mean that it's <laughs> constantly living with trying to pick stuff up and being boop, told you're boop, wrong? Boop, 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 <laughs> like you're. Boop, boop. Oh, I want a drink for my drink. And then the buttons e press. God. <laughs> The only thing that would be worse is if your hands were made out of operation tables. <laughs> <laughs> the meow stick moves up the list. Octillery versus Florges. Uh, I'll take Florges. Gotta go with Florges. Of course, then again, Florges is a fairy. They tend to be like this. <laughs> I, you know, so I don't know how big Florges is, but I'm gonna go with Florges, based, hoping that it's not like uh, teeny large, tiny. Hoping it's large. Cinderace versus Slandit. Oh, that's a that's a tricky one. I, I'll take C Cinderace. If it was a, oh, what's the evolution that's only female? Uh, Saland Cilantro. Cilantro. <laughs> if it was Saland Mommy, I would take that. But I'll take Cinderace yeah. over. Cilantro. And you can't and you can't pick one based on what it will evolve into. This is what you're smashing. Right. Cinderace. Plus pants. Why did this generate? Why did? Why did they put pants on so many Pokemon? Kamala versus Murkrow. Gonna go with Murkrow because I don't think I've ever seen Kamala not sleeping. <laughs> it looks nervous. <laughs> it knows. <laughs> you're all. You're gonna pick me, aren't you? <laughs> why do I have like to it's go looking up against the koala, the koala that just sleeps? Fennekin versus Venomoth. Oh, we Fennec got a classic. Well, I'm gonna go with Fennekin because again, it's they all have seen some shit. <laughs> well, that one's just looking directly at us. That's no thousand yards it's there. Got, that is it. It's got fursuit mode eyes where they've somehow built the face so it's always looking at you. Yeah, Komala is actually in a permanent coma, <laughs> so you know I'm not comfortable b smashing that. Fennekin moves up next. Starava versus Arbok. Uh, Arbok. Wings and worm. I'm gonna take Arbok. Uh, it, because it, that it, just... This beak looks very nose-ish. Also, its expression is just sort of like... <laughs> it looks like a grumpy derp. <laughs> it, it's like... It's like an accountant expression. <laughs> like... I am just here to do my job, sir. I told you to keep your receipts. <laughs> yeah. Give me the Arbok. Um, Ivysaur versus ap Apple Pie. <laughs> apple Toon. Uh, Ivysaur. Easy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, fucking Apple Pies, though. No, I, I wasn't thing. choosing I wasn't choosing Ivysaur because I didn't like Appleton. I was choosing Ivysaur because I love Ivysaur. Baneri versus Archeops. Archeops feels like when you're done, you are covered in scratches. <laughs> like you are bleeding <laughs> like all over your arms and torso. But at the same time, you might also be like, Wee. whoa, just give me a hot shower and some antiseptic. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll that was and I'll remember that fondly for the rest of my life. It's got the right floof. <laughs> it's floofed. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Archaeops. All right. Oh, it's Archaeops. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> I'll take the Passimian. <laughs> yeah, just go away. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Scum Tank versus Finian. Sweet roll for Finian. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the Finian. Yeah, really. This t it managed to turn its tail into a bad into. This is Donald Trump's haircut. It turned its tail into. Just fucking, go away. Also, <laughs> smell. Yeah. 
Pan Chan versus Beware. Pam Chan, please, because Beware reminds me too much of Pet Over. <laughs> <laughs> also, it's wearing an ear headband. Also, if I recall, it's extremely dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with Pan Chan. Pan -chan. <laughs> Gardevoir, oh, come on, versus Dwosion. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she's beautiful. <laughs> I'll take the Gardevoir, please. Yes. Have you? <laughs> like, that's not even fair. <laughs> Heliolisk versus Sandile. See, I can't choose Sandile, because all I can think of is that adorable gif where it's, like, waddling down the road, <laughs> like, do-do-do-do-do-do-do. <laughs> Beware also can't control its strength and will snap you in half. <laughs> See, I told you, I know a few things. I'll take the Heliolisk. <laughs> it looks like it's having fun. Yeah. Sandshrew versus Malamar. Malamar. <laughs> For any particular reason? Or well, just... one, I do like Malamar. Again, one of my one of my mains in X and Y. But also, it has much more mommy energy than Sandshrew does. Also, if this were a water Pokemon, this would definitely be a main for yeah, me. Yeah, I always thought it was weird. I was when I caught its uh unevolved form, the Inke, and was like, oh, I'll put this in my team. And I was expecting it to be water, it got hit by some grass, and it didn't die horribly, and I was like, what's going on? And I look at it, it's like, Dark Psychic, but it's a squib! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Malamar moves up. Next up, Froakie versus oh, hey, a lamb. And Malamar is one of the very few truly evil Pokemon, so huh. you know that stuff is going on yeah, in the bedroom. Really freaky. All right, Froakie versus a lamp. <laughs> I will take a Froakie, please. <laughs> For obvious reasons. Can't fuck a lamp. Poliwhirl versus Empoleon. Uh, I'll take Empoleon. Very There's Winnie. Well, yeah, it's a penguin. But missionary style isn't gonna work here. This has definitely got to be. Some yeah, stuff. I have to wonder. Like, is that hard? <laughs> like that. Like those crests are those hard? Can it not bend are they, are over? They flexible? Is it has to Batman itself around? <laughs> <laughs> but it has a little more. A uh, little less of the orb. <laughs> a little less of the orb. It's more impressive. <laughs> Can't fuck a lamp. <laughs> I mean, you can, it's just whether or not you should. <laughs> Bronzor versus Sableye. Uh, Sableye, because it has a human form and uh, presumably some form of hole. Bronzor is a plate. Bronzor looks Bronze like somebody flattened Squidward. <laughs> <laughs> blink, blink. All right, see you, Baldrick. Well, give me the Sableye, please. I hate those eyes. Yeah, it's a bit weird. Volcanion oh. versus Leopard. I'm going to go with Leopard. It's got the sass. The tournament's and getting the intense. Inf Inferna Infernape versus Morgrim. Now, this is an interesting yeah, this one. This is tricky. Because I do like Infernape. I did choose that Pokemon. And I thought its final evolution was actually cool. But Morgrim has that special gremlin energy. Yeah. I'm and gonna... it's like, come on. <laughs> balls go in hand. <laughs> Hold balls gentle like hamburger. I'm going to go with Morgrim. Yeah. Uh, Cent Centret versus Ribombi. Ribombi looks so happy. <laughs> I know. How big are Rabombies? I forget. Are big enough <laughs> that when you ask the question, how big is this Pokemon? The answer is big enough. <laughs> no, no, that does <clears throat> like if, um, what is that one? Joltik, if that comes up, that is not, that is not a big enough. Joltik are like this. Jolt, you, jolt, you get a swole Joltik is what you get. <laughs> then when it evolves, then you get the world's biggest Calvantula. <laughs> like, where, like, three adults can ride it into battle. <laughs> well, I do like Calvantula, but um, I'm gonna choose... I'm gonna... <laughs> Eight, Eight inches. inches. So like, no, you got a swole Rabambi. So it's about this. Cent but Centrix, honestly, its body is not that big. Right? I think it's like this. 
It's like the size of a football. So I'm gonna go with Rabombi. All right. Next, Pidgeotto versus Delcaddy. Uh, this is tricky. I'm gonna go with Pidgeotto because Delcaddy looks weird. <laughs> like it's, it's got a. It's got an it's got airplane pillow, pillow <laughs> with like needles coming out. Like, what's going? It did. Does it have fur that's also Moogles? <laughs> Give me the Pidgeotto. That is not one of my favorite cats. There are very few OC remixes that have lyrics that I actually like with lyrics. This is a. This is one. All right, Fletchender versus Musharna. I'm gonna go with Fletchender, because again, it's sort of like that Pokemon seems like it's always sleeping deal. Ape Nation. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <clears throat> I'm sure. <laughs> I don't. I don't think we have that emote active. I want. I'll take <clears throat> the Fletchender. Bunnelby versus Lillipup. This oh. one got splashed with fur, and it's like, what the fuck just happened? It's like, poof. Got hit in the face with, like, a whole bunch of dough. <laughs> Splat. Blink, blink, blink. Um, I'll take the Bunnelby. It has more hip action. True. And it has not yet evolved into its stupider-looking form. Fictini, Fictini, please, for the love of God. Off. <laughs> Golbat is actually one of the worst Pokemon. Uh, also, I'm, I wonder if people are starting to pick up on, like, patterns in Panda's Saw's selections. Buck, please. Yeah, okay. I'll take Saw's Buck uh, over... Mom Head, Mom Head. Fucking Norman Bates. <laughs> Pachirisu versus Lickitung. Uh, sorry, Lickitung, but I'm gonna go with Pachirisu. <laughs> That's not the most flattering... There's not many flattering images of Lickitung, but I've seen better pictures <laughs> of Lickitung that made me go, Oh yeah, Lickitung, I like Lickitung. And then we get <laughs> pictures like... where it's doing the gang crumbs. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Moltres versus Gotharita. Uh, I'll take Moltres. <laughs> she, she does look kind of um like whatever. Also, her design there looks like she's covered in latex, and I'm not into latex. <laughs> like goth tex, gross. Goth tex. Gulpin versus Trevenant. What? This is a horrible matchup. I'll take Gulpin. <laughs> but it's got three lips. <laughs> um, it's got three th lips and three. two flippers got, that look kinda... It's got three scrotums. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Trevenant is literally a murder tree. <laughs> At least Gulpin can be classified as a blowjob beast. <laughs> Aromatisse versus Snivy. I'm gonna take Aromatisse. Eh, this is Floofy. You do like Floofy. She's she and she looks. She's got the sass again, but like a nice sass. Chime, Chimicho, Chimecho versus Toxel. So something that's going to go ding 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 when I'm fucking ding it, ding ding ding. ding. Or what looks like a literal child, <laughs> like a yeah, literal. Um, uh, like child. it's got it, like this looks yeah. very diaperish. Uh, no. I don't know how we'll make it work, but I'll take Chime Cho. Like this, uh, <laughs> this is leaving in a future round. Yeah, Lurantis versus Helioptile. Oh, that's tricky because I do like Lurantis's design. It's got like that sort of like Japanese, kinda, and it's got like a sultry thing. Yeah, going like on. The Japanese sultry. You know, kimono shit going yeah. on. Although Plus it does stripey have, pants. Yeah, it does fucking have goddamn Joker pants on for whatever reason underneath that kimono. No, it's like welcome back, Cobalt. Welcome back. But it's like Helioptile like is pants. just so excited. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm gonna take Lurantis, even though it's probably going to bite my dick off <laughs> because it's a mantis. You know, and that's but what, it's it's the all right, Nidoran female versus Zacian. I'm gonna Say take Zacian. As much as I like, as much as Nidorita is my favorite Pokemon of all time, Nidoran female I do not think is more smashable than the noble god dog. 
<laughs> Lord of Puppo. Next up, Minon versus Uxie. Uxie? Uxie? Ux? Oh, it's like that other Pokemon that we oh, saw. Oh, yeah, yeah. Except that one is tired and asleep. I'm taking Minion. <laughs> Try harder legendaries. <laughs> Zacian is mechanically oh, genderless. Oh, hey, look, the legend. Was. The legendaries just tried harder. I'm gonna take <laughs> Raikou, even though I'm not into mustaches, because I'm not into smash face dick hand rock <laughs> barnacle monster. What the fuck? Raikou has two mustaches. It's, it's, it's got the it's white <laughs> beard of Pokemon <laughs> World. The One Piece exists. <laughs> Diced. Kingler versus. Bagel <laughs> versus bag versus bacon nuts. <laughs> I'm gonna take bag because Kingler looks too pokey, but also excited. He's it's like too excited, like he's reaching out, like gonna get your dick, gonna get your dick. Put Give me dick that ass. Give, let me pinch that ass. No, go away. <laughs> yes, please. I'll take bacon. Chestnut versus Galvantula. Now Galvantula again three legs or six legs. They don't put eight legs on any of their spiders. Yeah. I do really like Galvantula's design. I also like that it's huge. Mm. Like it's this like. <laughs> this one's got a kick and poncho though. I was gonna say as much <clears throat> as I like Galvantula, it's not more smashable than Chestnut. Mm. It's also fluffy. It is fluffy. But it is not more smashable than the chestnut. All right, chestnut. Although that hard shell would be difficult. <laughs> uh, I think of it as a poncho. Heatran versus Abra. Abra <clears throat> because it looks nice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> as opposed to shit. that D and D monstrosity. <laughs> like that would come at you from in the caves. Toxtricity versus Luminion. The bedroom eyes, though. Yeah, it's, it's doing a lot, a lot of fish do that. I've noticed. Heat ran is made of molten magma. Yeah, so put dick in, lose dick, <laughs> like instantly, like dick explode. <laughs> toxtricity versus. So what are we going with here? Uh, and it's this version of toxtricity. The this is what the this is the angie one, isn't it? The other one is kind of like. Bleh. Uh, Cobalt knows his choice. I'm gonna go with Luminion, because Toxtricity looks like he's gonna <laughs> tell me to go fuck myself. <laughs> and that's not what we're here for. That's the amped version. And Magby versus Donphan. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop whistling! <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> I'm gonna go with Magmi because it's already got the it's already got the deep throat collar. Yeah, ready for insertion. <laughs> it's kind of like got the birdo face, where it's like you're oh. you're. Cause Jesus Christ! <laughs> Arceus versus Basco Legion. Uh, uh, Arceus <laughs> gets the God of Time <laughs> versus. Horrific bite fish. <laughs> Clink versus Regidrago. These are both. Oh, they made new reg ne new regi Pokemon. I guess so. Because there's those. Because the original were like regi regi. <laughs> it's God. <laughs> regi Ice, Regi Steel, and Regi Gigas. So I guess they made new Regis for the different for new types. So they got a dragon. They got a bunch of Pokemon and named them after Regi. <laughs> Oh, you know, Reggie feel well, Reggie feel from Pokemon feels a May feel a May Reggie the Nintendo executive. Yeah, it's it's the god, the god like it's just God. It's not <laughs> like that's the creator of all things. It's oh, just I thought god. I thought they didn't have a god god. They just had like sort of like how Zeus isn't. He's like the head god, but he's not the god. He's just the most powerful god. So I thought that was the deal with. Arceus is that he's the time god, which would make him the most powerful god. <laughs> because it's like, what's what's worse? What's better than time? God, Ar Arceus lives outside of time. I'm gonna take Reggie Drago because it's the cooler design, but he's probably not gonna last long in well, the Smashing Turn. Yeah, what would you even do with this? Get your dick ground to a pulp. <laughs> 
I guess if you're into like CBT, but not me. There's a whole sequence in Great Mouse Detective where the whole idea is avoid getting crushed yeah. by this. <laughs> Reggie Drago moves on for lack of a better option. Typhlosion versus Mach Hop. Um, I'll take Typhlosion. Yeah, Mach Hop has chest gills. Yeah, like. That's either chest gills or it's ribs, which tells me that it's not its not working yeah. its core out enough. The, the, the Ma series has always weirded me out. But Syndicol was my boy, and this is another example of a final evolution that I actually like. But the Machop, Machoke, Machamp evolution series was my first batch of Pokemon in the Pokemon card game before I like traded all of them for a proper water team and became our school's water gym leader. Now, if this was, if that had been macho, that might've been harder. Crocorock versus sneeze. Didn't we have this exact pairing? Yeah, it was the unevolved form of that guy versus the evolved form of that guy. But I'm going to go with Sneasel. Sneasel because Sneasel, again, loves yeah. Sneasel from Gen 2. Our school did not last that cool because kids stole cards and were dicks and yeah, eventually the school was like, banned. stop bringing Pokemon to school. <laughs> Totodile versus Axew. Uh, I like Totodile a little better. Totodile yeah. has the enthusiasm. They're both very cute, though. This, this is a cute matchup. I feel like this guy, Totodile, is going to match up against like Arceus next. <laughs> Magneton versus Beautifly. Well, at, okay. Unlike other ones, Magneton is at least balls. <laughs> <laughs> Something A resembling. series of balls. <laughs> but we're going to go with Beautifly because it's not... I'm not fucking magnet. <laughs> yeah, it's not m just metal. <laughs> I guess you could use the bolts for something, but again, that feels very CBT. Purloin. Pur <laughs> God, try harder matchup thing. <laughs> it has loin built into it. <laughs> that is true. It will purr your loin. This needs no explanation. Get out of here. <laughs> also, Purloin feels like one of those Pokemon that you would have sex with, and then yeah. it would steal your wallet. <laughs> <laughs> Shelmet versus Togadamaru. Orb. <laughs> At least it's an orb that could potentially have accessible holes. <laughs> Shellmet looks like the best it can do is kiss the tip of your dick it's a like, lot. <laughs> Pucker up, bitch. I'll take the toga tomorrow. We'll add it to the fuckable pillow category. Lombre versus Charmander. I'm gonna go with Charmander. <laughs> Charmander. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Spinda versus kitchen appliance. <laughs> this is like, hmm, who would you rather bone? Cheerily, the school teacher MLP pony, or Princess Celestia? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Lord of the Moon. I, I'm going to pick Spinda because yeah. I don't even know what is what there. You're going to die. It's just, I, I feel like I'll go to try to like embrace it and I'll pass right through it into space. <laughs> and, is, it, and it will not save this me. This Pokemon it emerged from a pizza slicer. <laughs> it, no, it is the pizza slicer. <laughs> Spinda moves on <laughs> improbably. Volcarona versus Blitzel. <laughs> Is this like a bug flower, but also fire? Weird. Volcarona. Yeah, it's like mm. a fire moth. Weird. Or Blitzel. Um, I'm gonna go with Blitzel because it's a pony. it. Like, Is it a pony? It looks like a pony. It looks like a dog it's, to me, it's but it's very, got hooves. It's like it's like uh, it's, it's it's like an extra history pony. You know what I would call this animal? A mammal. <laughs> it's just a mammal. It's something. Which is, it's in that evolutionary. You tree. remember my Elijah character that I showed you? Yeah. That's what I was trying to go for. It's I wasn't a trying. Mammal. Yeah, something mammal. And I started thinking that way with like his friends and acquaintances, where they're just they're not a 
specified mammal. That's why uh, Amos looks like he's got oh. like rat face, but also horns. <laughs> yeah. Also, you guys can't see it, but whenever I... St there's, like, stats down, like, directly under our faces, like, <laughs> yeah. right here. So, like, if I ever go, like, oh, what kind of Pokemon is that? It's because I just haven't looked down at the type that's right here. Oh, I just picked Volcarona. Sorry, I can't go back. Well, neither of them, I think, would have lasted very long. All right. So also, he's just gonna have to be upset. He's gonna go appeal the judges, <clears throat> but they'll just tell him, "Look, it didn't matter. You were done." <laughs> also, if you see a Pokemon where you're like, "Oh, that one's got a real good chance of going all the way," don't say anything. Give the give the people in chat a chance to play the game. Speaking of playing the game, let me just slam that. Uh, let me slam those links back up there. So yeah, Cobalt says it exactly. Fur bait or scaly bait? <laughs> yeah, really. I think in this instance, I'm a little more angled towards furry bait. So I'll take Zara Aura. Yeah, th which I've never even seen before. So that that's either in like the Scarlet Violet or that's in like super new shit. It's doing the hybrid thing. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> hi, <laughs> Masquerade or Pidov, Pidov. I don't even know what a, the face or the ass is on a masquerade. It's so got eyelashes, though. It does. It's got eyelashy eyes over the world's happiest smile. It's so happy, its mouth is engulfing its eyes. Wait, Zara Aura is from Gen 7. Which huh. one is Gen 7? Uh, that's the seventh generation. <laughs> Name <laughs> of the games, Artard. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks. See you later, See Craden. You, Craden. Well, now what are we going to do? We don't have our expert. We have Cobalt. Uh, I'll take Pi Dove. Cobalt is our Cobalt is our expert. He's like Sun it, and Moon. He's okay. like I'm pretty sure. <laughs> he knows more than a lot of people apparently do. Black Balder comes in and is like I I I'm uh, uh, on. <laughs> versus Scolipede. Scolipede is hard, but like Maractus <laughs> is no, I mean, like, Scolipede is soft. <laughs> Dude, the thi Scolipede? Have you seen what has happened to Scolipede on the internet? No. Like, to the it has gotten to the point where no <clears throat> person ever, even people who don't want to draw porn, draw Scolipede with a massive ass. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's insane how Scolipede is like... <laughs> Just you look scup scolipede. It's just ass, big fat jiggly asses <laughs> everywhere. Male, female, doesn't matter. I'm gonna take Maractus because Maractus is one of my favorite Pokemon, okay. and I love them. Silicobra versus Mamoswine. <laughs> I'm gonna take Silicobra because I'd rather have upset than going to kill me. <laughs> Worm and orb. <laughs> it is orb. <laughs> Psyduck versus Verizian. Uh, I'll take the cell phone service, please. <laughs> yeah, this Pokemon sucks. You can't get signal anywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna take Verizian because Psyduck is in constant agony from a headache that I can't help oh, with. Oh, Frostlass versus Nidoking. You know what? My Pokedex, my Smasher Pass is a little too filled with... Feminines. So I'll take a Nitto King. Get a Chonky Boy. I'll get a Chonky Boy that I like. Tapulele versus <laughs> Dragalgi. <laughs> mm. Actual woman, <laughs> like femaley looking. Actual real female woman, <laughs> or or Oni plays gag. <laughs> Fucking Dragalgi. <laughs> it's made of seaweed. <laughs> What's inside seaweed? It's goo. <laughs> just, let's just combine all of our yeah. all of our favorite YouTubers. I'll take the one. Tapu Lele. <laughs> I'm so sad that I couldn't actually find that clip. Which one? The one where it's oh, like, <laughs> thanks. It's goo. <laughs> and underneath is goo. <laughs> Krogunk versus <gasps> <the> Dino. <laughs> I'll, I like 
Dano because it just looks. It just looks like, again, it looks like one of those friends where you'd be like, you'd go over to hang out and they'd it's be Susie. like, yeah, from Delta. <laughs> but like, you'd go over and you'd be like, so what do you got? So what are we doing today? He's like, I thought we'd smoke some weed. And you'd be like, okay, cool. Krogunk shat in your fridge. is like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll take the happy dragon. All right, and next up, Vikavolt versus Shedinja. Um, so... <laughs> robot... Unfuckable robot <laughs> bug versus dead insect. Literal dead insect. This is Vic Viper. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, I got... I got the right... I got... Actually, it looks more like a. Ar it looks more like an R wing. Oh, well, that too. It's not actually a robot. Restart game. I don't care. It looks like a <laughs> robot. <laughs> yeah, it looks. No Pokemon are actually robots unless it was literally made by a person. But a lot of them I still classify as robots because it's like, what else is it? It's just a robot. All right. Completely unrelated. Well, almost completely unrelated. The stupidest thing about Gradius is that speed up is one of the power ups. You should never be too slow to survive in that game. Yeah, I think that's stupid, too. Uh, <laughs> I have to go with Vika Volt because it's not fucking actually dead. <laughs> Yeah, but the Halo. You it's could use dead. the Halo. It's dead. <laughs> it is a corpse. A husk. <clears throat> it's barely even undead. It's literally just a spirit. <laughs> there is no soul. <laughs> Goldeen versus whatever this is. I will take the Goldeen with the dick sucking lips. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was the one that Mark Blair was like, uh, 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 smash. <laughs> Buizel uh, versus Tepig. I'll take the Buizel. But Tepig looks so happy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, Poochina versus Shiftree. I'll take the Poochina. Dude, I've never seen a Pokemon just going, <laughs> I'll kill you and your family, and I'll do it with my nose. <laughs> you go away. I'll take a poutine. For alligator versus Gorgeist. Gorgeist. <laughs> okay. Dude, Unexpected. Gotta... One, I do in fact like Gorgeist. Temple and also, and... Gorgeist has like that hips. Oh, the <laughs> hips. The hips effect. Uh, Illumise. Before you click, though. Doesn't it kind of look like it's got three tits? No. <laughs> I don't see it. I see... Okay, uh, you see... I see, like, a uh, visor and, like, face mask. <laughs> you, like, see, like, a tra you see, like, a fucking Transformers yeah, robot face? Yep, that's what I see. <laughs> so, see those two lines? Yeah. Picture those as cleavage. Uh, nope, I'm still not, <laughs> still not getting there. Maybe if, like, the bottom here was, like, wub, wub, wub. Like, if it stuck out a bit more. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Illumice. Illumice. Hey, Ferret, welcome. Welcome to the Smasher Pass Tournament. <laughs> oh, my God, are you allowed? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Let me, get, let me get those rules. Boop. It has been a long time. Yeah, pass on Jinx. Well, well but Claydol. Look, it's not Jinx's fault that she looks like that. Yeah. You know? It's yeah, I mean evolution is and at a least real she's asshole purple to now. a lot of creatures. That's true. <laughs> that they never did that with Miss They I mean they tried to do that with Mr. Popo and it just did not do anything. Uh yeah, like I don't know. Not not big on Jinx, but Claydol though. <laughs> Uh, uh, these are both terrible, and they're probably yeah. not going to last very long. Just choose Claydol. <laughs> Go away, <laughs> you mistake from the past. Jinx is great when people redesign it. <laughs> got, we got Decidueye and Spiritomb. Hmm. This one has some sand in it again. No sand. <laughs> <laughs> like, do I want? 
sassy, confident, like, handsome bird? Or do I want <laughs> explosion of ghosts? And it's doing the thing again. <laughs> <laughs> Well, because it's got to spread its wings and show its plumage. But and be only like, one wing. Well, do you really need both wings? Like, your one wing's going to be as big as the other wing. <laughs> I want the explosive excitement. It's made of 108 evil spirits. I only count, what is it, 4, 7, 12. There's only 15 here. <laughs> Decidui, please. Uh... Point of order, Decidui was my Heroin. favorite. <laughs> um, Decidui was my favorite uh, link to the past randomizer sprite before we got our custom <laughs> mm -hmm. ones. Uh, yeah, Hatterene. <laughs> I'm glad that you got to get the ones that you wanted. Meanwhile, you were making me invisible <laughs> or, or a fucking or a can of coat. Look, I always I picked Decidui and then I always randomized you. <laughs> yeah, because you're an asshole. Uh, Rufflet or Rufflet. I'll take Rufflet. <laughs> Wah! <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's the. It's in the screaming Wario category. Wah! <laughs> the bitch is mad. Shaman or Diggersby. I'll take Shaman because <laughs> it looks like the. Shaman looks like the kind of character in a kids cartoon that I would have had a crush on. Like, picture her in something more along the lines of, like, um... Uh, the Secret and Dumbo's Mim. Flying Circus. No, like, Secret and Mim. <laughs> Think of something like that, oh, with yeah. a character like that. I, I would have been like, I have such a crush on her. Mm, I can see I'll that. I'll take Shaman. Shaman. No, we... They're... The size is big enough. That's the <laughs> size. It doesn't matter if they're like this in the game. It's, it's big enough. <clears throat> Give me some vape. Um... So, real quick, if you're just tuning in, uh, I did post some links in the chat early, uh, a little bit ago. Um, so this is a tournament, we pick the most smashable, and when we're done with this bracket, it, it pits the winners against them, and so on, it goes on and on. Every time we pick one, it gets a point. Uh, so what you can do is you can go to those sites, right now we're doing Panda, so you go to the Panda one, and it will give you like a list of all the Pokémon with prediction and result. So you can make all your predictions of how many points you think the Pokemon will get, <clears throat> and uh, you will, and then you can compare them with how many points they get at the end. We'll post how many points they got in our Discord, or you can just follow along, and every time it gets a point, you can add one to the result. Um, if anybody has been following, keeping track the whole time. You can share with them what the results are so far. I don't have that information yet. <clears throat> we're only in the first... We're still only in the lowest brackets. Uh, yeah, this is still the first bracket. It we should haven't speed got, up. We, have, we haven't gotten to the point where it's like, all right, and now we take the ones you've <clears throat> chosen and bit them against each other. Um, this is all initial choices. Yeah, it should accelerate as we get to the later ones because we've already kind of talked about why Panda is picking these so far. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, Shaman, please. Uh, Shaman. It is cute. It is cute. And I think it's a legendary. Hmm. Yon uh, Mega versus Swablu. I'll take a Swablu, please. Yeah, what? This is horrifying. Like, that's an intimidating Pokemon to throw out in the battle. Too bad it's a bug and they always suck. <laughs> that's true. Bugs I've, are the worst, except they're free. I will use bugs. Oh, we're in. We are in bracket two. Bracket two has finally happened, and Drizzile, <clears throat> please. All right, let's give let's give people who are playing along a chance to scroll back up to the top, if they're if they want to keep switch go back and start updating the points. So now, any Pokemon that we pick now are gonna go from one point to two points. All right. So what are we going here? Lopunny or Drizzile? Drizzile, please. All right, and Carcol versus Articuno. I think, <laughs> please, Articuno. How many points do I have to kill, Lopunny? Get out of here, Cole. Tyrant versus Minior. Tyrant, please. Because so this is the this is the category where we're probably gonna see most of the I. L I only lesser of two evils. Yeah, I only chose that one because the other option wasn't much was, better. Yeah, it was worse. 
All right, moving on from Tyrant. Mischievous and Wulu. Yeah, see, now we're going to start getting some tricky ones. I'm going to take my vape. Oh, sorry. You were talking, so I was just and not paying attention. So I was just holding it. I will take the Mischievous, please. Uh, oh, sorry. But Wulu. now you don't have a towel anymore. Sure I do. Marie's still in there somewhere. Jang Mo -O or Tapu Koko. I'll take Jang Mo -O <laughs> because, again, Tapu Koko is cool, but what part is huh? <laughs> yeah, it's he's kind of a mess. <laughs> the fuck are these words? Jellison or Ekans? Ekans, please. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, Jellison I, is horrifying. I don't know. Deoxys and Apom. I'll take Ipom, please. Is it Ipom? I don't know. I just always said it Ipom. I don't want to go too fast because I don't want people to get left behind. <laughs> Mesprit or Venipede? I'll take Mesprit. I yeah. prefer the sassy. Yeah, and this one, like, it's looking in two different directions. They <laughs> fucked a lot up of their fursuit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I want to see a fursuit like that. Where they've Where done it wrong, and it's the other way around, so everywhere they go, they're like, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Derp. <clears throat> Spiel versus Ad Arduino. <laughs> Do you want to no. make an emulation machine, or do you want to play basketball? <laughs> I'm gonna take... I'm gonna take Audino. I must be honest with myself. Feel still had a bit of the meme in also, there. Also, the opacity is working. I did not expect that. Ledian or Noivern? Uh, I'll take Noivern. Yeah, I mean, Ledian, not... Ledian is a cute Pokemon, but it doesn't have that <laughs> figure that I can't Noivern smell. Has. I can't spell audio, Panda. Oh, Creighton's not here to put in the quote. Hold on. What? <laughs> oh, he, you didn't say that. It was just implied. I did... It's not oh it's not audio, it's Audino. I didn't say Audi I'm the audio. one who is saying Arduino. I said Audino. You people are deaf as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, chat. I'm just saying it. Give me the Noivern. <laughs> I mean it's got it's got that sort of uh, <laughs> Please Umbreon. Like Get it, rid it's of just presenting. <laughs> yeah, just ask for it, it knows. <laughs> uh it's steel or steel, so I'll take the one that's not a terrifying bug. <laughs> orb! Monster. More orb! Orb over razors. Golduck or Luxio! Definitely Luxio. Pangoro or Breloom? Def Breloom. Definitely Pangoro. <laughs> it's, it's not. It's, Angie Panda. I need it to give me more tricky matchups here. I'm going too fast. Seriously. Rashiram or Haunter? Rashiram, obviously. Because we. <laughs> Keep up, chat. We don't have time for this shit. But, like, Haunter was like. What do we do? <laughs> it's also got very. It's it. Uh, these guys are. Th th Rashiram is like shopping at Manscaped here. Like this is very tidy down here. <laughs> it, it, I've never seen anyone have a pube do. <laughs> but you know they're, they're like, rocking it. Is there something under that? Like <laughs> <laughs> All right. Politoed or Cacturn. I'll take the Politoed. His fucking face. <laughs> yeah, it's happy. That is true. It is happy. I gotta give it that. Marshadow, Dun, or Emolga. <laughs> Medicine. I swear to God, Emolga is the happiest Pokemon <laughs> I've ever seen. I'll take the happy Emolga, please. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like having chosen Emolga, we need to reiterate our <laughs> concessions. <laughs> Chinchou or Glaceon. I'll take Glaceon because <laughs> Chinchou is... Emolga is the bitch you need. <laughs> Uh, are we going with glass Glaceon? Yep. Farewell, lamp. <laughs> Orb. Nidorina or Frogadier. Nidorina. Yeah, Nidorina. It's gonna be... Like, you're gonna have to try... Yeah, like, Nidorina's my favorite Pokemon, but doesn't mean she's the most smashable. <laughs> so, the end is going to be... <laughs> interesting. 
All right, Ratata or wound? <laughs> I'll take Ratata. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> You've been wounded. <laughs> Zekrom or Simisage? Simisage because Zekrom is like super cool, potentially hot, but like there's. There's like massive asterisks all over this one. Especially a part where its <clears throat> own ass might get sucked into its tail engine. <laughs> and then we have. <laughs> See, because here's the thing if it were steel, then I'd be like, oh yeah, everything here is like. Like. Wang. Like, but it's dragon electric, so it, it might be flexible, but. Alright. I'll take the Simisage. Because at least it is a thing that is potentially much more smash. So, like I said, we're in this. We're in the second bracket now. So, like during the first bracket, all these characters got fairly lengthy explanations as to why we why Panda liked or didn't like them. So, like now we're kind of just uh, now we're it's like. But we're at the point where now is less about. It's more about eliminating. Pokemon that were only chosen because they were the lesser of two evils. So now yeah. it's like, like I didn't really want Zekrom or the other one, but I chose it. Was, what was it, Carvana? It was like yeah. a fish, and it was like there are both edgy, edge lord, <laughs> terrible Pokemon that I'm not really interested in doing. But <laughs> if I had to choose one, I guess I think Zekrom. <laughs> Cobalt knows what's up. Oh, you got some tough skin on you, buddy. Thanks. It's my carapace. Underneath is goo. <laughs> All right, so Simisage moves on. Simisage. Uh, Haulucha versus Charmeleon. Oh, this that's is a, a little tricky, tougher. Yeah, this is a yeah, tr this is This is a better matchup. It's just going to get harder as we go. I'm going to go with Haulucha. <laughs> wink, wink. Oh, Charmeleon gets the boot. You're not as good as Wartortle. <laughs> Lee Vanny and Con Haunch Crow. I don't Haunch Crow. Because it's got... Haunches? It's haunch shrug. It's got haunches. <laughs> I'll take haunch crow. Really over leave Annie. All right. Because it looks soft. It does look soft. <laughs> Freaking haunch crow. <laughs> Cacnea or squovit. Nuh, I don't. Nuh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> squovit. I guess. <laughs> I have no interest in either. Another lesser of two evils moves on. Weavile Ooh. and Noibat. I gotta go That's Weavile. Tricky. I gotta go Weavile. Farewell, Batho. Not sure how Weavile would stand up against Noivern. Uh, Magmortar versus Trico. Trico. Yeah, I believe Ma Magmortar was a lesser of two evils. <laughs> I believe Magmortar was the thing that was like, at <laughs> least it's a yeah. It was Mag. It was Magmortar or a Steel Flesh Flying Fleshlight. Oh yeah. So give me the Magmortar because you, you can't have a relationship with a Fleshlight unless you're sick. <laughs> Squirtle or Greninja? Squirtle. Really? Yeah. But the tongue. <laughs> the tongue scarf. Mareep or Dugong? Mmm, Mareep. Yeah, yeah, you gotta, gotta keep my flu for a little yeah, longer. Yeah, you need one towel. Need one pillow. <laughs> Glamyow or Raboot? That's a tougher one. I think I'm gonna go with Glamyow. Yeah, the tail looks very prehensile. The tail looks like <laughs> that is business up front, party in the back. <laughs> like up front, it's like, yes, we shall retire to the bedroom. The tail in the back, it's like, woo, we're going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Meowstick or Florges. Oh, they have kind of the same energy going yeah. on. At least this one does. The left one looks kind of like confused slash surprised <laughs> like it doesn't know what's actually going on um i'm gonna go with meowstick because i have this feeling that florges is very small <laughs> like i would like if that ended up being my final date choice like they bring her out from behind the curtain and she'd be like fucking tinkerbell size and i'll be like i'll do my <laughs> best but i can't guarantee you will live <laughs> All right, Cinderace or Murkrow? Gotta go Cinderace. Yeah, Murkrow seems just... <laughs> like, oh, it just seems... It's so disappointed. What's weird is I don't remember Murkrow's art looking like that. I always thought it was kind of like... Oh, Florges is actually pretty big, like person-sized. Really? Really? Uh, I thought she was small. Oh, well. Uh, 
Too bad. Also, Cinderace has some hip action going on. That is true. <laughs> All right, Cinderace moves on. Yeah, kicks on. It Murkrow knows. looks sad that Murkrow wasn't picked. That's what Murkrow like, looks like. That time it went up, and he was like, kind of getting into it, but then he realized he's up against Cinderace. He's like, oh, oh that's man. that's like the furriest of fur bait, and I, I'm not even like a haunch crow. This right. is rigged. Head orb or or worm. <laughs> <laughs> I've killed Panda. I'm gonna go with Arbok. Yeah, Fennekin just looks so off balance. Ivysaur or Archaeops? I'm gonna take Ivysaur. You don't wanna go with the danger? <laughs> with the potential regret? <laughs> I'm gonna go with Ivysaur. <laughs> the hell is an Archaeops? It's a rock fly. It's a rock fly. <laughs> So. Ivysaur moves on. It does have Vine Whip. Watch, watch, <laughs> if you're in the mood. Passimian. It's got whatever you want. When, did you pick Passimian? I don't even remember seeing Passimian. Passimian was a real, was one of those real quick choices because it came up next to something oh, that was, it was like, just like, fuck off. Yeah, I don't think it was like, it was like the Hypno situation. Yeah, I think it might have been Hypno is what this beat. No, I remember seeing Passimian being like, oh, I actually really like Passimian. But then I saw the other one, I was like, Passimian, Passimian, real quick. <laughs> I think in this case, I'm going to take Passimian because I don't have a sweet roll for Finian. <laughs> ass and head down, ass up. Pancham or Gardevoir? Pancham, because Gardevoir gets too much fucking attention. <laughs> well, farewell. You lose this time. Uh, Malamar? Mm -hmm. yeah. Delicious Malamar. Like when I first saw that name when I was playing X and Y, I thought I misread it. I was like, <laughs> I just kept thinking I misread it the whole time because like it can't be Malamar. It can't be <laughs> Froki or Empoleon. I'm gonna take Froki. Yeah, because farewell, Pengi. <laughs> I'm not sure what parts of Empoleon are going to hurt me. Sableye or Leopard. This Leopard. one seems obvious. Sorry, Cobalt, but I gotta take Leopard. God, these eyes freak me out. <laughs> like they look like they would. They look like painful to on me. Oh, sorry, Rabombi, but more Grim. I appreciate your Gremlin energy. Yeah, it's got that vibe, you know. Like I'll bet Morgrim plays an electric guitar. Plays an electric guitar and is into butt stuff. <laughs> like you want to go to a show where Morgrim is playing and then get the VIP pass. Gonna go with Pidgeotto. Yeah. That's like classic energy, you know? Bunnelby or Victini? I'll take Victini, thank yeah. you. Oh, with the peace sign, let's go. But <laughs> I want to go to a show where butt stuff is the goal. <laughs> Sazbuck or Pachirisu? Uh, Grumpy or just in love with life? I'll take life of love. <laughs> Sazbuck, no choice. Too bad. Moltres or Gulpin? Moltres, please. <laughs> I'd rather be on fire than possibly have my dick sucked off. <laughs> Like, I believe they're like actually off. Oh, thank God. Give me aromatis. <laughs> I'm glad they didn't somehow manage to line up a choice of two ter more terrible Pokemon next to each other. Lurantis or Zacian? I'll Zacian. take Zacian. Zacian. I don't know. Zacian? Zacian? I'm going to go with Zacian. <laughs> I want fire and beak to suck my dick. <laughs> I'll take Zacian. Give me the noble doge. I'm trying to hold the mouse like this so I don't accidentally click anymore. Minin or Raikou? Uh, I'll take my noon. Really? You, the mustache energy is just... Ugh. It's too potent. <clears throat> like, I'm not one for facial hair usually. Man, you are just throwing ferret for loops Like, the here. only reason I would ch <clears throat> I'm choosing chestnut now is because my brain doesn't read that as beard so much as it reads it as neck floof. Mm. Also bacon. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, Bagon. <laughs> it's bacon. It's bacon! <laughs> bacon, 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 bacon. So, chestnut. Give me the chestnut. 
Okay, next up, Abra or Luminion? I feel like I would have more success smashing Luminion. <laughs> So I'm gonna take Luminion, also the bedroom eyes, Ab and Abra looks like it's fucking a snake. Have you ever played Pokemon? Abra always runs away. <laughs> yeah, Abra <laughs> teleports. So like, I'd be like, all right, Abra, let's do this thing. And it would be like, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> Magby or Arceus. I'm gonna This go or God. <laughs> I'M CHOOSING MAGBY! Because, let's be honest... There... There is no coming out of... Sex with Arceus good. Have you ever read... Greek literature? Nothing good comes... From that union. <laughs> well, no, that's the thing. Greek is actually a bad example. Because in Greek and Roman... Mythology, the Greeks are much closer to God, so the idea that you could actually <clears throat> please a god in sexual act activity <laughs> is plausible. That's more like trying to fuck, like, the, the top Hindu god and please them. <laughs> Alright, we've got... Regi Regidrago and Typhlosion. Typhlosion, Yeah, please. clearly. <laughs> Sneasel or Totodile. I gotta go Sneasel. Yeah. Because they both look like they're having a good time, but Sneasel's having a good time in the right direction. Beautifly or Purloin. Purloin, please. Yep. Totodile is the better. He looks like a nutsack. <laughs> oh, uh, Typhlosion <laughs> just. <laughs> Farewell, Beautifly. You were beautiful, Charmander. <laughs> Not Orb. No. <laughs> Is that a smile, or is it the bottom of a muzzle? Also, take a look at its typing. Toga Demaru? Is this, like, Togepi related? No. Oh. It's just Japanese. They never oh. bothered to translate because oh. they got lazy. Toga look Demaru. at its type. Oh, it's type. Electric steel? Oh, this what isn't is fluffy at all. Yeah, it's like steel wool. <laughs> I was so like, I'm going to put that on my dicks. I mean, it will get you clean. <laughs> Because it will rip your dick clean up. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Charmander. Uh, again, we can see the type. I have stats. They're just under the. Fire base is camps. one of those Pokemon types that I would have a hard time with with the idea of intimacy. Charmander is much, much better in that case because it's like, oh, it's got like this little flame. Oh, this pairing sucks. Or this, this duel sucks. Well, if you let me actually fucking <clears throat> talk. No. Um, Charmander's better. In that regard, and it's got that one flame that it can kind of keep away, right? And I don't even think it's supposed to be that super hot, normally. Mm -mm. But careful not to put but it. But then out. you get Pokemon that are, but then you get fire Pokemon that are literally made out of magma, <laughs> and it's like, then how is anyone alive near it? Volcarona's bug fire. That's all kinds of bad. <laughs> It's an insect that will it's an insect that will give you the itchies and the poisons and like your poison <laughs> and on fire. That is the oh, worst status so. scenario. I'm gonna take the spinda. Yeah. Sort of like poison is that I'm way too. So warm. <laughs> this is the uh, this is I have to take this off. <laughs> I expected it to be colder in here with the heater shut off, but this I'm, this is so un here. <laughs> oh fucking god damn it! This has been on this whole time. Has I'm the sorry. heater been going? No, it's not a heater. It's a it's a dehumidifier. It's a dehumidifier. So no wonder it's so warm in here. Yeah, normally that doesn't do that much, but when you've got the computer running and no air conditioner flowing, yeah, like but it'll also build there's up. Prob there's probably been this like background. This entire time. I'm Whatever. Sorry. I'm so done with giving shit about that. Like, I could, like, if I was doing this alone, I'd just be like, I don't care. Boo! So, what do you guys think? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not playing some Eldrin! <laughs> Barrett doesn't know what a Sora Aura is either. Well, I didn't either. Yeah. Like, this was so unfamiliar to me. I was like, that's gotta be, like, brand spanking new. But apparently, but apparently it was from Sun and Moon. Weird. Shut up, Cobalt. <laughs>
I'm going with Zara Aura. All right. Farewell, Pie Dove. Mmm, Pie. Maractus, please. Yeah, this is, it just looks bummed out. <laughs> he doesn't want to be here. Like, it's like, why was I even here? I have a wife. <laughs> He's <laughs> going to get so mad at me. Verizian or Nidoking. Nidoking. Oh, all right. You know, if you'd given us better service. <laughs> Tapu Lele or Dino. I'm going to go with do, 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 Dino. Because eh? Dano feels like he's still got the good weed to go uh, along. Also, just where? <laughs> yeah, like, can she come out of that? Or is that entire thing like an ash shell that she like, is permanently part of? Like, How clearly, does she like, poop? <laughs> like, clearly this, like, goes clink into this. You see what I mean? Like, Oh, yeah. Like, but, but is she like a <clears throat> clam? Can she come out of that? Or is she like adhered to it on the sides? And the only way to smash is sort of jizz in her general direction. Dino feels like he was a secondary character in the Flintstones. I'll, I'll take Dino. Dino moves up. I want that weed. <laughs> Vika Volt or Goldie. Again, I'll take the <laughs> blowjob lips blow, blow, over blow. the <laughs> eviscerating, electrifying robot bug of hate. <laughs> Do 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 do. Uh. Buizel or Poochina? I'm gonna go with Buizel. Water Pokemon se always seem like they're gonna be a lot more fun. But Poochina has hands. <laughs> <laughs> He's got hands. They're just you know <clears throat> floppy. Gorgeist or Illumise? Illumise. 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 It's like. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> All right, what do we got? I didn't veto the horny fish. I pushed Goldeen forward. It was yeah. Goldeen went on, right? I did click Goldeen, didn't I? I hope so. I I think I clicked Goldeen because otherwise you're gonna like the the tournament staff. <laughs> they're gonna fire your ass hardcore. <laughs> Yeah, I think I clicked. I think I'm pretty sure I clicked Goldeen, but I guess we'll find uh, out. Gorgeist, who's <clears throat> a Pokemon I actually quite like the design of, or Elumise, who looks like something you'd actually smash, <laughs> like like a a person with eyes and a soul. Soul or Gord? <laughs> Gord. <laughs> really? Yes. Okay. Gord, it is. Gord forward. I have a soft spot for ghost Pokemon. Claydol or Decidueye? Decidueye. Claydol was an accident waiting to ha <laughs> Because let's be honest, that whole option of Claydol versus Jinx. Yeah. <laughs> imagine having to vote between. Imagine if we had. Something you'd smash with eyes and a soul. Basic standards. <laughs> imagine if you had a presidential election, your choices were Hitler or Stalin. That's what Claydol versus Jinx was. Yeah. <laughs> Give me Decidueye. Decidueye. <laughs> Decidueye is JFK. Hatterene or Rufflet? Mm, this is tougher than you think, because uh, if you take a look at Hatterene, like, it looks like she has a figure, doesn't it? But then look in between the hair below her head. Oh, yeah. It's like, That's her real body. The mm. rest of that is like this sort of fairy fluff. Like I like Hatterene as a Pokemon. I used her in Sword and Shield. I guess it. I guess it depends on what this, like, what what's the texture of this. I feel like it would feel like. Is it like fluffy or is it like goopy? It's I've, hard to tell. My brain would interpret it as like <clears throat> silky. Uh, I'll take. If you feel too strong emotions, Hatterene will silence you violently. She can silence me anytime. Wait, if you but feels like it'd be membrane. I don't remember that reading that Pokedex entry at all. Was that the shield <laughs> version? What the fuck? <laughs> I guess I'll take Rufflet because I feel like if we got into it heavily, I'd die. <laughs> Look, here's the thing about the Pokemon Pokedex. With every new game, the Pokedex makes every Pokemon worse. <laughs> like they're gonna get to a point where it's like everyone used to love Charmander, but then they found that it out that it ate 
children. It, and the, it's always children. It's always children because these dumbass adults keep being like, yes, go out alone into the world and deal with creatures that will incinerate you, cut you in half, chew you apart. And the flame on Charmander's tail is its burning soul. If it burns too long, it will die. <laughs> I believe it does die if its tail if, goes no, if, out. Yeah, if you put it, but what I'm saying is like it will just go out eventually anyway <laughs> when its soul runs out of fire. But it can, but it can rejuvenate itself by sacrificing a child to its tail flame and burning it to cinders <laughs> because it's always the damn children <laughs> that suffer because the adults are all dumb. I guess I'll take Rufflet. <laughs> because Rufflet won't kill me for also, enjoying if, a beach. Also, if you're too loud around it, you risk being torn apart by the claws on its tentacle. Oh, so I then I'm taking Hatter. Oh, you were talking about Hattery. Yeah, like this right here will end your shit. I thought I thought loud. you were telling me that something about Rufflet was this, it doesn't like loud no. song and it will claw you to death. I guess I'll take Rufflet. Rufflet moves on. Get out of here, murderous binch. Shaman versus Swablu. Uh, I gotta choose Shaman <clears throat> because it looks it looks kind. Oh, we're on to bracket three. Bracket three. Now is when we start seeing primarily good choices. Right. So I'm going to say Drizzile here. Yep. Farewell, Burb. Swoosh. Swablu won't clean your ears. Tyrant or mischievous? Mischievous, please. Doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. Okay. Jang Mo versus Sock. <laughs> hey, you know what? Socks have smash merits. <laughs> um, hmm. Also, this is a sock with an accessory. Yeah. <laughs> but then Pardon. again, but then again, Jang Mo -O has some. Has a nice tail too. You yeah. never know. And uh, I'm gonna go with Jang Mo O because Ekans looks like I can't tell if it's ah! <laughs> I can't tell if it's excited because you bought it that like fucking new album it's been looking at. It's like oh my god, or if it's like screaming in terror. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> or if you just wa or if he just walked in on his mom and his next door neighbor doing it in the living room, he's like, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm so I'm gonna go with Jang Mo O, because at least it looks like it's stable. <laughs> also, it has legs. <laughs> Ape eye palm or mesprit. I think I'll take mesprit. It's a little <laughs> less weird. Than I palm. <laughs> Quote stable. <laughs> Arduino or Noivern. I'm just. I will forever pronounce it Arduino. I'm sorry. You can fight Why me. Ardu Why Arduino? <laughs> because an Arduino is an actual thing and it's funny to me. <laughs> I'm gonna choose Noivern. Yeah. It's got more figure than and Arduino floof. does. And it's, it's got that neck ploof. Umbreon. <laughs> yeah. This one has just gotten lucky up to yeah. this point. <laughs> it's been the Krillin in this tournament. <laughs> An Arduino is a little, like, uh, system on a chip that you can use for programming. Like, like if you want to make, like, a little emulator box, you could, you'd start with, like, an Arduino and then... All right. Hmm. Luxio or Pangoro. This might be our first properly tricky... Yeah, because they're both good. I do like Pangoro, but... There are only Angie pandas here. <laughs> I gotta go with Pangoro. I mean, they're both grumpy. Yeah, but Pangoro is grumpy in the right sort of way. Yeah. Like, it like, looks Bruh. more like, you're gonna do me, or I'm gonna kick the shit out of you, <laughs> or I... <laughs> Are you my boyfriend or not? <laughs> and it's like, okay. <laughs> All right. Reshiram or Politoed? Uh, I'll take Reshiram for its immaculate pube do. 
<laughs> standards I wasn't expecting. He's a real tough guy. Emolga or Glaceon. Ah. Uh, <laughs> sleek and elegant or just the happiest fucker <laughs> to be fair if i was an electric flying squirrel pokemon that could just wee i would be happy <laughs> that's too that's true <laughs> uh, <laughs> limbs gulp uh, why when we get done with Panda's run, we're gonna take a quick break so we can go grab drinks, and then we'll start my run. Cause In I Volga. got one. Cause I got one to do after this myself. Glaceon is pretty. Nidorina or Ratata. <laughs> Goodbye, Ratata. Farewell. You fought well, young warrior. <laughs> Simisage or Halucha. Halucha. Yeah, sorry, buddy. It's the Pompadour. He he's another one where he got kind of lucky. All right, next up, Honchcrow or Squovitz? Uh, Honchcrow, please. Well, <laughs> Weavile or Trico? I gotta go Weavile. Yeah, we Weavile. I, I like anime. We. That was a good joke. <laughs> Squirtle or Mary? Uh, I do like the floof. <laughs> But I also love Squirtle. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> he's, he looks like oh. he's reaching out to DJ. Oh. <laughs> like, just put a little DJ stand under him. Glam meow Ooh. or meow stick. Wow, this is just meow tastic here. It's meow stick. Haha. <laughs> uh, uh, it's do we choose meow meow or meow mew mew meow mew? <laughs> What's mew mew? Meow mew 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 kissy cutie. <laughs> <laughs> what if every time it shows two, you get both? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take. I declare that the rule. Every time it shows two, you get both. <laughs> I'm not sure if that would be better in this case. Again, Mr. Left there seems like he's not quite into it. <clears throat> I'll take Glad Meow. Glad Meow moves up. Nice. Cinderace or Big Sock? <laughs> <laughs> the biggest of socks. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna go with Cinderace this time. <laughs> Kick right in the nuts. It is nothing but dick. It is <laughs> kick to the dick. Wham! <laughs> Boot to the groin. Ivysaur or Passimian. This is, this is tricky. This dude is a jock. He is, but he's a jock with a nice ass. It's true. But Ivysaur, again... It's just such a good Pokemon. Mm -hmm. And he's got accessories. What? What? <laughs> like, he could make that room smell nice That's while stuff true. is happening. I'm gonna take Passimian. Oh. See you later, Ivysaur. If you are a war turtle, this it's might be upset. different. It's an upset. Pancham or Melamar? I'm gonna go with <laughs> Melamar. I got that. There can't be Just, two pandas it, in this tournament this long. It's pure evil. <laughs> evil? <laughs> Froakie or Leopard? Give me the Leopard. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you can't force a Malamar out of the room. Uh, Morgrim or Pidgeotto? Gonna keep Morgrim going, because Pidgeotto, you ain't got enough specialness. You've been kind of lucky, Pidgeotto, because you kept getting put up against other more boring birds. That's true. Farewell! All right, next up. Victini or Pachirisu? Oof. They're both so happy. Yeah! <laughs> uh, Victini. What? what? What is it rattling? I'm hearing in my ears. Do you guys hear that rattling? Well, if you'd shut up, maybe <coughs> I could listen. Yeah, I hear that. It's like... Yeah. <coughs> I don't know what's causing that. Moltres or Aromatisse? 
Uh, I'll take Aromatisse. Keep that floof going. Zacian or Minun? Ah, uh, Zacian. Farewell, tiny thing. <laughs> You're the best announcer. <laughs> and thus, that guy over there who is wearing the pants has been eliminated from the tournament. Praise <laughs> him, for he's fought well with his human hands. <laughs> <laughs> chestnut or Luminian. I'll take the chestnut. Farewell, fish. Let's see how far Goldine will go. Typhlosion or Magby. Gotta go with Typhlosion. Farewell, head thing. <laughs> Ball of head. <laughs> Sneasel or Purloin. That's a tougher one. Purloin feels like he's got huge eyes. <laughs> like if like, like if that whole pink area is just actually eye, like the eyelid. If Purloin opened its eyes. It'd be like, what? <laughs> that would be terrible. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog imp effect. This is not about typing bonuses <clears throat> or combat. This is about if you're doing them. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Sneasel. Farewell, giant eye cat. <laughs> That's not how it works. Spinda or Charmander. I'll take the Charmander. I oh, will do bonus typing. Fight me. <laughs> Farewell. This is this. It's just in grave danger of throwing up all over. Yeah, you. it feels like its main sex move would be sitting on your dick and then spinning around really <laughs> fast in circles, which would be great for all of a minute until it vomed all over <laughs> you. <laughs> Go away. Zeraora or Maractus. Fuck you, it's Maractus. Go away, furry bait. Give, I want to hug the cactus. <laughs> Nidoking or Dino? Uh, do I want the big dude or do I want the guy with the weed? <laughs> Nidoking. All right. Yeah, it's all right, dude. It's fine. Yeah, he's Goldine cool. or Buizel? This is tough. Do I want fun water friend or, or do you blow? want water space? <laughs> <laughs> that he was the fun water friend. I was gonna say fun water friend or blowjob beast. <laughs> Goldeen. <laughs> Goodbye, Weasel. I don't need limbs. <laughs> Gorgeist or mm. Decidui. I'm afraid this is when Gorgeist is finally dropping out. Farewell, Gord. We will take the we will take the fancy handsome owl. Rufflet or Shaman? Shaman. <laughs> that wasn't really a hard choice. No. <laughs> Rufflet looks really like out of it. All right, we're into the. Like, what Weird. is this? Uh, this is bracket four. <clears throat> I gotta go, Drizzle. Goodbye. I can't remember dreams. if there are seven brackets or eight brackets. I think it's. I think it's eight brackets. I want I think, to fuck a pumpkin. Yeah, because nine brackets is 512 Pokemon. Hey, with an ass like that, you'd fuck that pumpkin too. <sighs> I'll take the Mesprit. You know, as long as there's a hole carved in the back. Yeah. Noivern or Umbreon. I'm gonna go Umbreon. The Eeveelutions are always gonna score high. It's yeah. just the way it is. Sorry, Pango Reshiram, but Pankaro is moving forward. Thump, 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 thump. Emolga or uh, Nidorina. There goes Emolga. <laughs> uh, sorry, buddy. Shoo. You stand no chance against the Queen of Sass. Halucha or Hunchcrow. Gotta go with Halucha because imagine that dive bombing you in bed. <laughs> dive bombing <laughs> you. <laughs> like, that's some fun times. The people's wing crunch. Do I like Weavile more than I like Squirtle? Weavile's soft. But if the GMNT question is, porn has taught me anything, can the shell come off? Because they can know. withdraw, but can they detach like a Koopa Troopa? They withdraw, but can they emerge? <laughs> <laughs> the, those front <laughs> four panels are like, <laughs> dick. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Weavile. <laughs> None of those options sounded appealing at all. Glammeow or Cinderace? Cinderace, please. <laughs> Even though it looks like she is full force karate kicking me in the dick. 
dog eat <laughs> get untainted? I'm gonna go past Simeon here. Oh, the evil has lost at last. Evil shall always lose unless they are blowing me extra <laughs> good. <laughs> Leopard or Morgrim? Oh, Morgrim. <laughs> Victini or Aromatis. Victini. Why is that giving me? It sounds like an alcohol. It sounds like <laughs> Semprini. That's what's doing oh. it. it. See, my brain went to like Martini. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. let's make a Victini. Now, is it called a Victini because it's a victory martini? Or is it oh, called Victini? Oh, that's why it's doing because yeah. it's Victini. Oh! It's doing like a piece. It's doing the V for victory. And also, Comes its head is V for victory. But also, is it a victory martini or is it a martini that the vicar drinks? Why not both? <laughs> the, He's, vicar, it, the vicar the is vicar drinking one. it because he was victorious in helping his flock. Do, 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 uh, Aromatis. Do, 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 do. The gotta go with the floof. Gotta go with the floof and the sass. Some vicars do. Yeah. Like, drinking is... Drinking is really a thing in American Western religion that they frown on. Like, Zassian. you know, you talk, you, talk to the, you talk to the Jews, you talk to, like, you know, Catholics and England and Ireland and stuff like that, they tend to drink just fine. It's just all about, you know, don't drink until you're, until you're stupid. I want one of these. Hmm. Good boy or big hug? Good boy or big boy? <laughs> I mean, they're both huge. Like, Zacian is a big dog. I'm going with Zacian. I think he's got more glorious floof. That's true. Typhlosion or Sneasel. <sighs> I move the mic away so you don't have to listen to me crouching. <laughs> Ball sack. <laughs> big hug. I'm going with big hug. All right. Also screaming. <laughs> Hugs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with large egg. Maractus. Sorry, Charmander. You're not spiky. She goes shaka 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 while she's riding your dick. <laughs> <laughs> Nita King or Goldine? I gotta take Nita King. Sorry, Goldine, you were you, you did fought surprisingly. Well. You did surprisingly Dude, well. Those dick sucking lefts, they they took you far. <laughs> Never let those go. Decidui or Shaman? Uh, I gotta take Decidui this time. Sorry, Shaman. You were very round. Oh, bracket five. Drizzile or Mesprit. Drizzile. Float away. Umbreon or Pangoro. Pangoro has more personality. True. Nidorina or Halucha. Ah, uh, there goes Halucha. Farewell. Weavile or Cinderace? Mmm. I gotta go for the one that is not full booting my crotch into the, my brain. <laughs> uh, but I wanted to kick you in the taint over and over and over. Pessimian or Morgrem? Morgrem. Yeah, that's not Jock versus Gremlin. <laughs> I, if the audience voted on it right now, I would be like, die, because they chose poorly. <laughs> Aromatis um. or Zassian? I'm going Aromatis. Oh, wow. Farewell, good boy. You were good. <laughs> and also, boy. <laughs> Typhlosion or Maractus? Maractus. <laughs> Nita King or Decidui? Ooh. Big boy or handsome boy? <laughs> Chonk or classy? Nita King has the bigger ass. That's true. <laughs> But Decidueye probably has the more built ass. Mm. Also, this tail is a bit hard to get around. Trust me, I draw a low tail lady and it's hard to get around. <laughs> That's why I don't draw low tail people. Uh, I will choose the Decidueye. Decidueye it is. <clears throat> uh, oh. All right, bracket six. Drizzile. Farewell, big pend. 
We will try to. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> oh, this what this is the this is tricky. Who is like Nidorina is my favorite, but would I smash her more than Weavile? Hmm. Oh. With shabby peas. Those are great, except they do make me shit flames. <laughs> if I eat too many of them. You know, I'm 38 of the two options. Flames is superior. Mm, this is so tough. You know what? Nidorina. Nidorina takes the Vic. Take the W and move on. Morgrim versus Aromatis. I rad I like still love that gremlin energy. More than the floof? More than the floof. Morgrim moves on. Maractus or Decidui. Maractus. Gotta love that Shuka Shuka. Shaka Shaka Shaka. Fuck the floof! Oh my god! Pain is this. This is what I feared. This is the worst decision. So this is bracket seven. All right. Oh no. <laughs> Drizzle or Nidorina. I gotta go with Drizzle. Do you want the wobbly or do you want the lovely? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Give me the Drizzle. Farewell, Nidorina. You fought well. You. I, I think Nidorina was the favorite. Yeah, she was, <laughs> there was, like, once she showed up, there was no way she wasn't going very far. Morgrim or Maractus. So the question is, does the, come the gremlin energy, the does the gremlin energy beat the party energy? Mm. Morgrim is the kind of person that's like, let's go fuck in the back alley and then spray paint everyone's cars <laughs> and then shit in their dumpster and get, then go get high and the, but Maractus is like dude this is gonna be an all day event we're gonna ha we're gonna just like there's gonna be there's music like lights and, and drinks and just happy music and dancing and then hold on hold on you get the D. I can enhance. I can enhance this. Um, we just need the right. Put on some crab rave. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. <coughs> um, we just need the right uh, tunage for like raw tunage party energy. Here we go. And you got the you got the lights and the fog and then and the and the the, the DJ and then Maractus show like shuka 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 up to you. <laughs> Honestly, but Morgrim is off in the corner, like giving you eyes. Like more, this feels more like Morgrim's music. Cause it's hard, like, Maractus would be happy, like... Like, it'd be fucking happy Spanish music. <laughs> Shit in their dumpsters. <laughs> I feel like these two would go to the same parties. But for different reasons. Maractus would be on the dance floor, and Morgrim would be smoking a ciggy in Morgan the corner. Morgrim would be at the bar. I'm gonna go with Maractus. Farewell, Gremlin Energy. You fought well. Drizzile oh. versus Maractus. This is the final round, is it? Uh, yup. So which one will take the gold? <laughs> it's such a hard choice. I honestly did not expect Maractus to be in the finals. <laughs> Dude, I love Maractus. It's it's also one of the only cactus Pokemon that's like... You know what, Ferret's right. Morgrim and 
and Maractus would <laughs> leave together. I gotta go with Drizzile, because I could keep up with that. <laughs> And that's it. Drizzile is our final winner for Panda. Give it up for Drizzile. So I believe now, if I've programmed this correctly, it will now have taken these results and posted them into the MySQL database so that we can post those results on the Discord after the stream. So if you're not in the Discord, get in the Discord if you want to see if your predictions uh, matched ours if you weren't keeping up. We're going to take a quick intermission so that I can go get us some drinks because it's hot as hell in here. And uh, then we'll be back with my Smasher Pass tournament, which is a com a different set of Pokemon altogether. <laughs> I got a different 256. Different 256 random Pokemon. Yep. Who knows what horrors away. <laughs> Watch you get not a single Pokemon that you actually like. There will be no... Uh, like the, what was his name? Imperador or something? The evolution of Drizzle. <laughs> yeah, there'll be no that. There'll be no Blastoise or War Turtle. There won't be a Vaporeon. The, the Victor will be a Magnemite <laughs> because you're, everything else is like Garbador and <laughs> so. All right, Dick Smash <laughs> and Bow Remover. <laughs> Dick Smash on. <laughs> All right, <th> <laughs> Dick Smash. That is the lesser known evolution. <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Smasher Pass. We swing. Welcome back. <coughs> it's my turn to do Smasher Pass, and we're starting off strong. <laughs> uh, it's those weird amorphous Pokemon that are always weird. Because. Yeah, well, this one can turn into a lot of different... It can possess a fridge. Do you want to fuck a fridge? No, but you know what? It can possess can any it... appliance, right? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. It could... It could possess, like, a vibrating... ass... thing that you have. <laughs> vibrating but then, like, thing. its face appears on the cheeks. <laughs> With the eyes pointing in different directions. I'm going to choose Rotom because it can possess appliances and that means things. <laughs> <laughs> it, unfortunately for you, it insists that... It, what the fuck is this? I've never seen this. Turtonator. <laughs> unfortunately for you, the Rotom was like, No, you will fuck me as a toaster! <laughs> Isn't Rotom the only po one of the only Pokemon that can yes. speak English? Yeah. Yeah. Because it has it has to in order to possess uh, speaking appliances. If I recall, cor n no. Because um, in the Rotom is like the Pokedex in. Oh later. yeah, Mewtwo can too. At least according to the anime canon. I'm not sure what the game canon is. Well, I think technically <clears throat> any Pokemon can speak English. That's true, because Meowth spoke. So it's like, it's they very are specific circumstances. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with Breon. <laughs> this, its name though is way too close to just a regular ass name. <laughs> yeah, just Brianna. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> can become anything. So I've, I've got one that can possess <laughs> sex toys, and I've got another one that can just become anything. Also, Smeargle. Smeargle. Smeargle sounds like you wipe stuff with it. No, like, smear. <laughs> precious. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> but Smeargle is like an artist Pokemon, so I guess it would be oh, I pretentious see. sex. <laughs> well, I mean, I gotta go with Ditto. Yeah, Ditto. That is seems unfair because it can be literally any Pokemon. Okay, you know but what? I here's declare the thing. this unfair. Dit no, think about this. Ditto. If it transforms. Imagine it's the face is always that face. I, so you're like, hey, become my the sexiest Pokemon. And it becomes the sexiest Pokemon with that face. <laughs> you know what I said earlier, though? Mm -hmm. I said that if it has different forms, we have we're, we're only choosing based on the form that's mm -hmm. shown. So it has to be Blob. Do you want to fuck some Nickelodeon gack? No. <laughs> or, okay. <laughs> 
Mel metal or pan pour? I feel Jesus like this Christ. is. Christ. I feel like this is obvious. Really, Mel metal is, looks like it's act could actually be soft and penetratable. It is Mel metal. Yeah, but it's like. <sighs> But is it molten? Like, it's, is it actually at, molten because of it's got the properties that it needs to be molten? At best, this is mercury. <laughs> that is true. It does look a lot like it's just made of mercury. Oof. I saw a really cool, like, ye olde <clears throat> film from, like, the black and white days where there was a scene where a dude, like, passes through a mirror and to do that special effect... Um, they dressed him up in like clothes in like clothes so he wasn't like actually touching it but they basically gave had like a pool of liquid mercury right and they had him like dip his like push like his hands and stuff down into the into the mercury and then they just turned the shot on it camera on its side so it looked like he was going bloop through the mirror it's actually really cool <laughs> that would not pass in movie safeties these days. I mean, it might, because they did, like, he was, they gave him, like, a special suit to pass through the mirror, so he wasn't, like, actually touching any mercury. True, but mercury is one of those things where it's dangerous to even have around. Yeah, so you'd have to have, like, crazy safety stuff like, going you would, on. Like, you would have, like, professional chemical disposal and handling teams on site as that was happening. Uh, I'm gonna go with pan pour. Oh yeah, like <laughs> Power Range. All th I think that's true of like everything seventies and eighties. Like we had not reached the point where people were like, "Hey, let's have smart I decisions of safety when filming these well, things." <clears throat> Japanese, um, Japanese kung fu and martial arts movies and shows in particular for a long time were just p get together a bunch of stuntmen and fucking send it, like. Safety is for losers. Go. <laughs> sort of like Vin Diesel, I think it was, where they were filming a movie and they could not get him to stop kicking people in the face for real. Yeah. <laughs> so Panpour goes on Swallet or Pangoro. Well, I mean, I gotta go Pangoro because that thing is just like blurby. No, I like Tranquil. Again. <laughs> Are they all Nazis? The What's happening here? <laughs> um, yeah, gotta go, Burb. This thing... What is... Is Too this much fur? Hair. Is this hump? What is this? How much of this is solid mass? How much of that is head, and how much of that is back? Is yeah. It just, is it just a lumpy orb covered in hair? <laughs> I don't want to see their eyes. I don't want to know what's under there. I just no no the, those white things are its eyes. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> it's got it's got like snail eyes. Uh, Whoa. Poipo or Kakamo o. Hakama o. Uh, Hakama he came up in yours, Hakama didn't he? Yep. We're getting a lot of. I mean, repeats. We're got, which we're, is weird because it was random, right? Yep, it's random, but it is 256, which is somewhere between a quarter and a third of all the available Pokemon. So, there's gonna be some overlap. <laughs> also, as much as I like its mischievous looking nature, and it's got some hips. It does. Its name is Poiple. Poiple. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, this has got, this has got a vibe. I'm going with Hakama O. That's, you might as well name the other one Steve. <laughs> yeah. It's got it's got this the it's got the digitigrade hips going on, like that's that's a, that this is a this is a solid <laughs> solid option here. Duh. Amara or Slugma? Well, that one is literally boiling magma. Yeah, like, and that one is adorable. It is. You get chosen over magma. Bennett or see Terrakian here would probably win if it wasn't for this weird ass fucking just humany face. What is this? He's like, Arr. he's like, well, I don't read it as f human. I read it as furry. He's a f 
fur he's like in the same category of furry as like Simba from the Lion King. But he's got like a chin. Animals have chins! Not like this. This is just Look at a, a, this is just a dude. Look at a lion. They are the chinniest chinny chins. They're all they all make Jay Leno look like a bitch of gymnast. I'm sorry, this is just a dude. This guy, you just unzip his mouth and in you go. Banana in win. you go. Your <laughs> dick is cursed. <laughs> Verizian or Cosmoim? Cosmom. <laughs> is. I don't. Is that. Is it just like. What are. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Uh, Raligator or Cedra? Uh, well, Cedra seems like it's got more blowjob potential. Yeah, it's, it's got the, it's got that, uh... It's got the birdo mouth. Yeah, it's got the birdo. But for alligator is like, yes! <laughs> yes, Quay! <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes! <laughs> it's like... <laughs> hmm. Well... As much as I like Cedra, I think I'm gonna go with Big Boy for Alligator. <laughs> Again, he's got that digital grade hip stuff going. Hell yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> come on, man. Uh, come on. Like, this isn't even. I don't even have to explain these decisions. It's just like, of course not. Do Get I want to fuck the alphabet or something that's actually a woman? <laughs> not even the whole alphabet, just that one letter. Uh, this is a bell. It's like a clay gold. Uh, beep boop bop. Oh, it's got to say it's the evolution of the other one, yeah. I think. But Piplop. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> it looks like he just squeaks at me and I yeah. feel bad. He looks like he's the only way he communicates is through beeps. <laughs> like bird beeps. <laughs> Meep. Uh, I don't like any of these choices. What the fuck? Type equals null? Or loud or screaming. <laughs> what the? F I have to. Is that its actual name or did I fuck <coughs> something up in the program? No, that's its actual name. I've okay. seen that. <laughs> Type null. <laughs> I always thought that was weird. But it has a defined ass. <laughs> it does. I mean, it's got the quadruped thing. And Versus it's not this. Screaming. <laughs> Why don't you pick me up? Because you're an abomination. Ambipom. Ambipom or Orb. <laughs> well, Ambipom is a straight up improvement to Ipom. That's true. Are these like handy hands? I think they can function as hands. Well, you know what? It's got two handy hands. Two flippers. And this is an Orb. <laughs> <laughs> that one's just happy. <laughs> Oh, nice. Uh, That's yeah, an orb. Yeah, it, it, his it, ass is an orb, but that his whole whole his 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 is an orb. Yeah. <laughs> and again, the digital grade hip action, dude. It's Mewtwo. It's like it's I like, can't choose not to. Yeah. Oh, oh, what the what? Why would anyone put him in a Smasher Pass? <laughs> There's no hole, only fire. <laughs> <laughs> yup. Get out of here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, dude, Just I love Aurora. Stonehenge. <laughs> <laughs> These choices all suck. <laughs> I mean, you're getting some solid ones. Yeah, I'm getting some really good ones and off and really un getting, awesome. like. Right only next... good, only terrible. Yeah, you haven't got really gotten one yet where it's like this one sucks and this one also <laughs> sucks. <laughs> Sobble out here is Amsterburger by Natster Burgery ass. Uh yep, Aurorus. Stonjourner really did have like that confidence though. He's like, yeah, you like this. Dude. The Oh the my god. The digitigrade vibes and the and the uh, tetrapod vibes. I mean, this that is, is this is at the bottom tier. That of, is a toad that would appear in a spooky, in an <laughs> actual well-made spooky Mario level by Nintendo. Like, yes. Hello. Like they'd be friendly, but you'd see them, and every time you'd be like, "God, you're 
It's awful. And they're like, we just want to give you cookies. And you're like, no, no, I don't want your cookies. Go away. <laughs> Toad just hardcore crackhead. Yeah, that's, that's him like on all the drugs. <laughs> Beep. Can Sucks. he inflate his mustache too? I hope not. <laughs> Zorua! Ke Kecleon or Zorua? Uh, Kecleon looks like he's just not here. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> what do you mean? It's a smasher pass. I didn't, I didn't ask what, to... What, what is that? I, I didn't ask to be here. I want to go home. <laughs> Zorua is like already up. <laughs> Well, I, I guess you just I, it is if you I, want. I don't know what to say. I have to dance, right? It's a dance competition. Oh, did I lose the competition? Oh, well, bye. I had shit to do anyway. Mench, Minchow or Maffy? Uh, yeah, definitely going with Minish, Minchow, Minchow, Minchow. I wonder. I wonder if there's like a Chinese pronunciation for that because I feel like that's what they were going yeah, for. Yeah, Minchao? I don't know. Minchao. But yeah, it's kind My problem with Chi for trying to pronounce Chinese stuff is that it's a very specific pronunciation yeah, and it from doesn't look the way you pronounce it to the way you inflect it. Yeah, and it's like the romanization of Chinese words is I'm I don't think that this is China's fault. So I'm just gonna say that the romanization of Chinese words is terrible. Yeah. Cause like none of the letters are even close to what the way you would use them. Like right. they use like the letter Q for like like S C H like some like like it's t it's not good. It's really it makes it really I've hard. Heard, to... I've heard the Q pronounced a whole bunch of different ways whenever it shows up. Like I've heard just King like Key, and I've heard Chi. And it's be like, like, and I'm just like, can, can, can't you romanize better? It Translators, makes, please. It makes names really hard in particular, yeah. which China is not the only one that does that. There are some like, uh, there are some Middle Eastern languages that don't romanize very well either. Anyway, uh, not Michelle, Japanese though, apparently <laughs> that is one of the easiest ones to romanize. Uh, we got Buizel or Gerder. Weasel, get out of here, you veiny bitch. Frostlass or Starly? This is like the little cousin of the big nose grump. <laughs> yeah. Um, and again, it kind of looks like it's just sort of like... <laughs> Drive not ready, abort, retry, <laughs> failed. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go with Frostlass on this one. Frostlass has ass abilities. Excellent. Oh, Pumpkaboo <laughs> or Dupider. Oh, oh, that's somehow worse than its evolved form. Yeah, this is this has holes. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> there, oh, there Vaporeon, they are. Vaporeon, get out of here, Q font, Vaporeon. <laughs> Uh, Star Staraptor or Furret? Furret is furry. Uh, and, and a long, big, and long boy. Sock. Yeah. But Starap <laughs> and also Staraptor looks like it's judging you. Yeah, Staraptor's got bird burb energy, but it's also got bad hair. Yeah. yeah Furret, <laughs> go away. Uh, oh my god. Giant hentai monster? Yes. Or, bo <laughs> or bossy crow daddy? Uh, no, I the the ruby of the sea. Except How big were Jumbo? What is the regular tentacruel size? Because I remember the Pokemon episode. Where there's the they're, giant. They're big. I mean, they're big, but I don't think they're giant. Like, and I think that was like a unique tentacruel. Yeah, I think it was supposed to be like a giant squid. Yeah, like I think normally they're about as tall as a dude, as like a six. It's like a dude. Five feet. Five feet average. That's shorter than I thought. I thought they were at least like 60. That's still big. It is big because they are wide too. So uh, that is six dude, six orb dudes in a can, line. Can they come up? Can they come apart? Maybe. <laughs> I mean, it's better than this. <laughs> yeah, this better is than spiky 
grass steel. This is just metal spikes with morning stars. <laughs> foot, foot borb. Yeah, the, spiky foot borb. Yeah, fu these dudes, they win. <laughs> Anal beads are venomous grass bug thing. Uh, I mean, Tyranitar. Dude, it's like. My, you, you'd be fucking basically Godzilla. Yeah, that's as opposed to like these Korea. eyes. <laughs> these eyes, though. Gonna pinch you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Go away, crab. Lantern or Weavile? Mm. Uh, I mean, I really do like Weavile. Not, I mean, that's a happy ass fish. That's the happiest fish, and <laughs> it's not a, and it's not an orb. It's close, I but mean, it's not an orb. There's, there might be an orb in it. <laughs> yeah, it ain't, it just ain't an orb. It ain't its feel. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so happy about it. Yay! But, uh, I've been trying to do that my whole life. Weavile's got those mischievous eyes. <laughs> be happy, buddy fish. <laughs> What the fuck? He's he he's just swords. He's made of swords. Uh, I'll take the polytoad. <laughs> yeah, he just looks happy. He's just he's, so happy to be here. Yeah, and he's happier that you chose him. <laughs> oh my god! Sandile. Nothing but bad options. At least Sandile has away. a face. Yeah, get out of here! What the <laughs> fuck is this shit? <laughs> so do you want? One of the worst legendary designs I think I've ever seen. Or do you want something that looks like a Super Metroid enemy? <laughs> what? <laughs> cool Pokemon design. I gotta say, I do like Metagross's Pokemon design. Like, you if you sent that out against a trainer that had never seen it before, that would be terrifying. Oh, like, your Pokemon would be like, unless you're fielding a Charizard, your Pokemon would be like, what the fuck? <laughs> no, I'm out. Goodbye. But uh, I got this one. This looks like it's just gonna hurt. So, Volcanon, you move on. If fielding. You're... Fielding. <laughs> Not feeling. Hey, Toucan. Re Uniclute. This is... Although that toucan looks pissed. <laughs> Stop <laughs> eating my fruit loops. <laughs> like, look at him. He's... I've He's fought. got the anger squint so bad. <laughs> I followed my nose and all I found was shit. <laughs> all I found was pain. <laughs> my wife off me. <laughs> <laughs> and you're gonna pay for it. You killed my toucan children. I all, didn't. <laughs> all two of them. I didn't kill my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Toucanon or Reuniclus, who is happy but. What is the part that you could do? <laughs> it's in there somewhere. This guy looks mad at me. I yeah, he's go. like... He's he's too angry. There we go. Oh, mm. no, wait, this is a choice. Yeah, that's a choice. Serena... Uh, but the, Lapras, those eyes... Like, Lapras is like magic as fuck, dude. Lapras has wanted it since Gen 1. <laughs> <laughs> like, it Lapras... It doesn't have much of an ass, but it's, again... Magical as fuck. You might yeah. as well fuck a dragon. Yeah. Dragon air. Fucking Lapras can get it. Sorry, Serena. <laughs> oh, here's our turret friend again. <laughs> not who, not who. <laughs> floating. All right, floating flashlight or orb. <laughs> the, the orbiest. Spaced out orb, even. <laughs> Hey! Yo, uh, well, okay. Two chonky boys! Two chonky boys. Embor. Do you want a warm hug voice? or a wet hug? <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing. I don't know how this works. <laughs> that is true. So this is a safe choice here. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Left, please. Yeah, Blitzel. <laughs> shoo, shoo, shoo. Be gone. <laughs> Oh. oh, hey, goat. <laughs> ah, the p My instant... favorite Pokemon, goat. goat. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're doing Smasher Pass, and, instant, and you're like, oh, goat, that one. <laughs> I mean, again, it's not a living fucking missile that is also a flying 
Yeah! Thunder God. <laughs> Goat. <laughs> One seems more accessible than the other. Oh, no. <laughs> this is terrible. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's just... Uh, it's just a robot. <laughs> that one is terrifying. <laughs> Incineroar or Slurpuff. This is... Do you want to fuck something that looks like it's actually fuckable? Fucking beefcake or, or king of blep? <laughs> do you want to fuck just a wad of gum? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Here you go, beefy boy. Nin Ooh. Ninkata or Hoot Hoot. <laughs> um... There's something in there, right? There's another leg. Yeah, it's and this stuff. Although that always made me wonder, how much of that lower floof is an actual body? Is like it's it only has like an actual teeny tiny head in there, <laughs> with two <laughs> feet that just. <laughs> I don't know. There's a cloaca in there somewhere. Good enough. It's not a bug. Uh, Lucario or, or Seismitoad? <laughs> Lucario or fucking Tumor Frog? <laughs> I mean, uh, okay, spike? I need, I need to know, are these pants? Or is it sort of like the Rito, where their fur, just their lower just plumage naturally looks just like floofs. pants? Like, I, I gots to know, I need to know if, the, if this is like big hip action, or if he's just got fucking hammer pants I mean, cutoffs. I think he does have big hip action. Because look at... Look at... Because if it's pants, look at where the hips before this connect to the shorts. Like, no one's hips do... Oh, let me put my soda. No one's hips do this. Do, 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 do. <laughs> it, it rounds out. Okay, you know what? You know what I'm seeing right here? I'm just, Creases. That's creases, so these is pants. Fight me, but also smash. <laughs> hmm. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? Hit much. These choices don't even require explanations. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Or... <laughs> Dick, do not go in either of this. <laughs> but at least that one yeah, probably has he, lower he holes. A, he got an AS. Yeah, Granville. Also, it's Carnivine. It eats you. Hoopa. 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 Again, it looks like a fucking Osamu Tezuka character. It's a Sonic character. It's got the rings. Like, it looks like something you'd see in Astro Boy, doesn't it? Like a robot? Yeah, I could see that. But it's not a fucking Cleffa. Yeah. On it goes. Mawile. That's another one of my favorites. Yeah, and it's not... See, these aren't even choices. All It's not a teapot. I mean, <laughs> on it goes. it's the thing in the teapot. So you just pop the top off, stick your dick in the goo. <laughs> oh, Noctowl. Mm. Burb energy. <laughs> and he's just looking at you like, really? You have to think about this? <laughs> Dra <laughs> that is the happiest fucking dragon of all time. Look, that is the biggest... Like, it has the world's tiniest torso and the world's most... At massive backside. That's like two enemies in Dark Souls. The the front end of like the uh, the wyverns in the wyvern valley. Yeah. And those like dragon asses and lost isolate yeah. glued together. <laughs> if this this is the result of a teleporter accident, that's what this is. <laughs> God damn it, Bill. Uh, but man, it's got an ass, though. <laughs> it sure do. You know what? I got. I'm gonna take it over a ratata. Don't know how far it'll go, but wonder how big that one is. Hmm. It's not a sword. <laughs> don't, On it goes. Don't fuck a sword. <laughs> huh. Duck or ass face? <laughs> <laughs> the assiest face of all time. <laughs> No, shoo, shoo. <laughs> like, they couldn't have come up with a better skunk. It's like, hmm, orb or orb that will kill you and also has an another butt face. <laughs> All right. No, that's more like balls. Literal pin cushion plus urchin or lychee berry. Uh, I guess something. Uh, Happy lychee berry. Yep, not, 
not a pin cushion, please. Okay. Two, two soggy thingies that, or that, that do have good lip. Yep. Or Trico. And you want, might want to think about how that uh, slugness will feel on your junk. Slow. <laughs> no arms. Wait. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go Shellos. It's like Macos, only... Trico looks like he's trying to do, like, the Samson pose, but he's too small. <laughs> Yo, fuck your Susie! I got a two-headed Susie! <laughs> Dude, the third evolution of that is wild. Is it a three-headed Susie? Yes, but its front hands are the heads. So it's got one central head, and then its arms end in heads. That's weird. Yeah, it is. But it's fun. And this is not an orb. <laughs> not orb. Farewell, orb. Hmm. Fart ball or worm, worm or with orb. tits? Hit worm. Look. Oh, it's a boob snack. <laughs> Look. This is a this is a farting orb. This has eyelashes and tits. Victory. <laughs> Dude. I, I love the idea of boob snakes because it's so funny to me. Hmm. This isn't even fair. This is just high octane furry bait. <laughs> right. And this is another orb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you didn't pick me. Okay, rock tree. <laughs> or... <laughs> This is this thing is really Jane. nervous. Want snacks? <laughs> like the, all the spikies and this expression are making me think of like a terrified cat, <laughs> like a cat that just like a dog just walked in here and it's like, <laughs> but it's not making a sound. It's just sitting there like <laughs> you can just hear you can just hear the rumbling. And it's my like, <laughs> like, like this thing is vibrating, <laughs> and that makes it perfect. <laughs> vibrating furry thing, licky clam or keychain. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fucking a keychain would be a once in a lifetime experience, but or you licky could clam, fuck a clam <laughs> with a tongue. It's got a tongue. That's all it needs. La 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 la. Hmm. <laughs> Are these like tentacle thingies? Yeah. Well, it's got tentacles, not blades. <laughs> Hound Dune. Hound Dune, hell or yeah. Puffball. Hell yeah. Get out of here, whatever you are. Uh, Tapufini or Snot Bear. <laughs> I, I would tapu that Feeny, you know what I'm saying? She, she has been the most shapely of them. Hmm. Orb or dead thing. Uh, this literally explodes. True. <laughs> <laughs> if I have to choose between my survival... <laughs> oh, indeed. Indeedy. Or a Froakie. Uh, <clears throat> this Why does that one have tricky. croissants on its head? Sex and a croissant. Dude. <laughs> nice. <laughs> ah! Dude, I'm sorry, I thought they were croissants. <laughs> Why would you think that? <laughs> because they look delicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they are delicious. Not croissants, though. <laughs> um, th this is... A, a rock. rock. <laughs> the spritzy, the, the makeup action on this one. Hmm, bacon? Or... <laughs> Weed friend, bug bacon. I'll take uh, I'll take Susie Mark One. <laughs> uh, Stoutland or Float Soul? Uh, yeah. This one, the mustache. It's way too much stash. It's like mm -hmm. that's like excessive dwarven stash. Uh, Ooh, Zeb, Zeb Striker. Striker. That's a good pull. Uh, get, uh, Gyarados is more like a challenge, honestly. Rage, <laughs> rage snake, or <laughs> horse. <laughs> Got that tetrapod action. Bear tick or a lay. All right, let me explain to you why this is should be more complicated for you. Okay. Remember what cub chew was and how it had like this big frozen snot ball. 
Right. Look at where his quote unquote beard Yoink. starts. <laughs> That is frozen snot down his face. Why would they do that? All right. Uh, fish where I'm like, what is the beginning and what is the end? Or <laughs> a puppet stump. <laughs> that is really surprised. Fish. <laughs> Why am I here? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I'm, I don't want to sleep through it. <laughs> it's true. Also, what a burb. Yeah, that is an awesome looking burb. That is an epic burb. <laughs> Why the fuck am I here? <laughs> because you're better than the Yamask. <laughs> That's true. He's so that is, the, he's that is the worst ghost Pokemon. That's the one where it's like, oh, it's Mask is a dead person. Mm, cool. Is he Crumb? Or... Now, see, this is where you and I diverge because and you're like, nice. Dragon. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, man. It's not even... The world's happiest flying squirrel or a chandelier. <laughs> Would you like this delicious strawberry cake? It's like, it's... Imagine a sh like a game show where they're like, we give people hard decisions and make them choose between us. The ones who can get all the way through without quitting get an awesome reward. And they're like, all right, so here, here's choice number five. And they're like, all right, I'm ready. And they're like, would you like this to, to eat this delicious and completely safe strawberry cheesecake? Or would you like us to blow off your dick and balls with this <laughs> shotgun? <laughs> this <laughs> and it's loaded. <laughs> it's like, it's loaded. <laughs> and you're like, cake or death? Uh, I'll have the cake, please. I'm sorry, we're all out of oh, cake. Coma bear or conscious parasite? I gotta, I gotta, uh, but it coma bear. It's an, oh, well, <laughs> well, well, I'm smashing a, someone in a coma. You were not given a. Oh, well, there we go. Oh, Inteleon, that's. Inteleon. His name is Dreepy. That's it's basically an Easy derp. choice. Also, this is just a genie. <laughs> uh, he he take looks worse than every, Will Smith genie. Kind of. Yeah, well, that's not hard. I guess I'll take shocked, uh, tarred and feathered. Mm, that's an anchor. <laughs> Oh, the, uh, just uh, lower don't, holes. Come, don't come at it from the front. Yep. What? Oh. Reggie Lecky. So it's an electric Reggie. Reggie Lecky? Reggie Lecky. Shuppet looks upset with me. Mm. But it's, well, I don't know what that's Yeah, about. I don't know what's going on. Beedrill or Raichu, that's an easy choice. <laughs> Raichu. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna wham through these beginning ones because it's given me just easy choice after easy choice. Growlithe, obviously. Tetrapod action, let's go. Oh come on. Do okay, you Would know what? Would you like to hug this kitten or we press this button and drop and commit the world to nuclear apocalypse? Now see, they are loading me up with furry bait. This is gonna get hard. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Roly coly. Uh, Axio Roly or Coley is a good choice if you want your balls mashed. Okay, you know what? This might be a surprising choice, but I'm gonna go with Gumi on this one. <laughs> Gorp. Cause it's it's Gumi. Oof. Spiky <sighs> orb or thing that actually tries to eat its trainers constantly. You know, if it if it's careful. <laughs> <laughs> These are not those were not good choices. Uh, oh, dude, Arcanine. Arcanine, dude, that Arcanine is sick. The goodest of boys. <laughs> he's so cozy, but also not having your shit. He's just like, <laughs> I'm not going outside. I'm not shoveling the walk. Go fuck yourself, mom. <laughs> Arcanine is happy to see me. All right, frog, <laughs> bedroomized frog, or. Confused as hell, Burb. <laughs> Why are you fluffy? You are a frog. <laughs> <laughs> it, that's true. Swadloon would be lovely to cuddle with. The frog moves on. Again with this fucker. I guess. But there's Machoke. 
I guess we'll go with the turbo beefcake. Slow. Okay. In the original game, they said this thing was supposed to be a cloister. A cloister. But it looks nothing like a cloister. And I think that they have since retconned it. But anyway, uh, obviously, <laughs> yeah, I hug my Pikachu and it's cute. But I hug a big muscle beefcake and it's weird. All right, so yeah, definitely gonna go with Latios here. Electro. It takes too long. It takes too long to get consent with a Slowpoke yeah. or a Slowbro. I guess Torchic. <laughs> I guess Burb. Over fucking Burb energy. Heat sink face. <laughs> Uh, this is a worm. With a butt for a face. And that is a happy penguin. Happy penguin. Who has a sack that could have presents for Ooh, you. Santa burb. Or it could kidnap you. And that would be also fun. <laughs> Wee. Low punny, obviously. Ob, though, look at that ass. Dude, Epsol. You are getting such fur bait. <laughs> Oh, psh, get out of oh here, my spider. God. Go, go, shoot, get out Terrible. of here. Terrible. This isn't even hard. <laughs> okay, this one sucks. <laughs> well, at least Munchlax looks happy and has flesh. <laughs> yeah, but... As opposed to Matang, who is a Matang, fucking... Matang! <laughs> who looks like something that would float in during an dis alien disaster movie, <laughs> like... Wah, 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 launching missiles. Matang looks like the, those things um, from Tron. Hmm, trash or plate? <laughs> <sighs> trash is soft. <laughs> I mean, not... It, it's not a plate. Ooh. Bolton or Entei. You know what? Bolton looks like the goodest boy. Also, Entei has too much stash again. That's Yeah, that's true. Leafeon! Leafeon! We got an Evolution. We Did had we one before. Yeah, you had a Vaporeon. Oh, oh, that's right, a Vaporeon. <laughs> Which is gonna be hard to beat. It's like the fuck meme. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Click. Star? <laughs> I don't know. It's a rock star. Ha <laughs> ha, Typhlosion. <laughs> <laughs> Ballsack is back. Florges hmm. clearly. Temple or thing with actual hips and ass. Please choose me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just Eevee or anus face. <laughs> Good old classic Eevee. I mean that you know if it's if it if it inserts. <laughs> Aw, Greedence is so happy. Yeah! As opposed to Electric, who is like... <laughs> screaming. You know Electric looks like a cat that's just screaming at, like, a toy on the ground. <sighs> like, it's just been freebasing catnip. And <laughs> I will go with Big Tail Soft Happy Boy. Uh, woof. Drill mole or these are both kind of spiky. I'll go with shroom. It has more. It has rounder bits. Um, <laughs> Arkin. I mean, <laughs> burb energy. <laughs> Burn up. <laughs> Gong or parasite. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm here. Marshadow or Clefairy? I'm gonna go with Clefairy. Because again, Marshadow, look, it, it's like got balled up fist. It is so angry. <laughs> no way. It's got that silent, seething anger. Dude! Oh my, what that's a, a choice. Yeah. Uh, rock and roll, <laughs> rock and roll furry bastard. <laughs> you know what? Tetrapod energy. Gonna, rock, gonna roll with Luxray on this one. <laughs> Ferret screaming, obstacle. <laughs> uh, hey, look, it's got four legs look. and isn't a fish. <laughs> yeah, go away. Anchory fish. Another uh, evolution. Nice. Wow, that's a lot of evolutions. That's a lot of EV ass. Also, orb. Look, it has that's ass true. cheeks in that much, picture. Much, much ass here, and it's not. Dude, it's not Snorlax kill me. is the bed. <laughs> I have, I never thought I'd say this, but I must choose Orb. 
<laughs> They're both orbs. Just one is a wheel orb, a wheeled orb. Hmm. Okay. Pinchy, pinchy big tongue licky Gligar or chinchilla. Hmm. Is a chinchilla fine too? I'll take the fluffy one. This guy looks like he's trouble. Uh, uh dude. <laughs> whew, mighty, mighty yeah, mighty Ina. With <laughs> with her hands. <laughs> I don't think you understand, Ferret. That wasn't a choice of oh, I actually want to fuck this. This that was a choice of these are bullshit, and I'm only choosing this one to move on. <laughs> really. <laughs> hmm. Uh, Wiggly Wiggly Tough. Or, or... Wham, wham, wham. Ow, ow. ow. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> oh. It's, 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 uh... What's uh, six? What? S sextopod? Yeah, you know what? It's a sextopod. Let's <laughs> go. It's also one of them, like, godly ones. Mm. Okay, Kadabra, much better than an Abra, and True. it doesn't just teleport away. True. And it's also it's also not called a kid. And it's not an orb. <laughs> uh, worm or penguin. Uh, clearly penguin. <laughs> Kadabra Spoon. would at least spoon. Yeah, he would. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. Skunk or screaming derp eel. <laughs> gotta go with the fluff. You're not going very far, I promise you that, buddy. No, oh, well, obviously. Clearly magic hard, but don't even have to don't even have to talk <laughs> that nicket is like ready. Uh-huh. That nicket can get it. <laughs> uh fish or What the fuck? Your head is too big. <laughs> It's got a balloon hair. It's like this just looks like a and fucking... it's covered in triforces. What is, are these like? Oh, what's the name of that like uh, fractal triangle thing? Oh, where it's like a, every triangle has more triangles inside it. Yeah, and that, more that's what that is. Also, that <clears throat> looks like he's got those like prayer beads, massive prayer beads. Yeah, but also he's got the world's tiniest, dangliest, most useless legs. And this just looks like a brain tumor. <laughs> Fish. <laughs> uh, how did how did the slug you chose earlier become creepy? Yeah, I'm gonna go with Mr. Viz. Sl Sligu seems like it might have some freaky shit going on. Flow it or shark? <laughs> this this is just a torpedo shark. Shark. Uh, whereas Flow it has a flower for me. Thank you, Flow it. Let's bone. You're this big, but we could work something out. Holy shit. Oh, Celestia. <laughs> you, how did we end up with... I wasn't expecting any of the Ultra Beasts, but somehow both of us got one. I guess I'll go with the turtle. <laughs> you sure you don't want the one that's made out of fucking rocket stages? Mmm... This one's huggy very boy, elegant. Huggy boy or or fucking magic <laughs> ball sack. And I'm going to go with ball sack. Hey Brax, welcome back. Uh, oh. It's adorable and tetrapod energy. And well, you're too beefy cakey. Go away. I guess we're Shoot. going with a steel Get out bird because Go gold away. bat ruins everything. <laughs> <laughs> like that is, I just stepped in something gooey and I don't want to look <laughs> down. Cranidos. Uh, you know, I'm seeing some digitigrade hips. <laughs> yeah, you ball sack. There's Raikou, uh, better than fungus. Better than shrews. Tetrapod energy. Agron, better than coffin. Are you sure? Yes. Look at those hands. Yes. I, the face, though. <laughs> um, He's just done. Okay, you can go home. <laughs> All right. Come on, Fidgy. Okay. <laughs> you can go home. Sorry. Sorry. Oh. Oh. We bracket are in two. bracket two. So, 
Rotom would have won either way, but I have to correct because the reason I chose Rotom, even though Rotom would have been the choice anyway, because the other one sucked. Technically, possessing stuff is other forms, so I can only go with this one. And this one is spiky and electric y, so I'm gonna go with Breon here. Are, did you choose the other one because it sucked? I seem to remember there was some discussion about it. <clears throat> it was primarily because it was like, oh, Rotom is an might be an interesting choice. And based on that, it was like, oh, yeah, clearly Rotom. Uh, I think I'm going to go with Smeargle here. Smeargle seems like... Smeargle. He'd be interesting. Yeah. I don't like that dude's hair. <laughs> uh, uh, who, violent um, punch... <laughs> violent punch boyfriend? Or... Uh, yeah, go, definitely going with Burb Energy. Yeah. Farewell, Panda. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> uh... uh Mm, yeah, this one definitely, definitely Kakamo. Oh, Hakamo. Oh, this one's a little too cute for my tastes. Hakamo. Oh, Hakamo. Oh. Uh, de 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 definitely Verizon over here. <laughs> <laughs> like this was this was a lesser of two evils choice for sure. So, and this uh, by by the er, uh, tetrapod energy. Uh, hmm. 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 Feminine, which is a plus. It has that aroma thing mm. going for it. But again, Frogator <laughs> looks fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with them. <laughs> I will let you, I will leave, let you to judge them incorrectly. <laughs> Tiny beat penguin or confusing mess that we only chose because it had an ass. Yeah, I don't, but. Beat penguin. Uh, hmm. No. Beep somewhere else. <laughs> beep, beep, I'm a penguin. <laughs> um, I mean. Uh, you, got, you gotta go Mewtwo. He can fucking fly. That's gotta be fun, right? But he also hates you. <laughs> Because uh, who won on your side? It was Drizzile one yeah. for you, wasn't it? Um, yeah, Aurorus, definitely. Oh, <laughs> what is it's that guy doing? <laughs> He's just pain girl <laughs> killing a man. <laughs> oh. Somebody stop him! <laughs> Big booty. Uh. <laughs> Get out of here! Yeah, you, mustache, you're, you. I never wanted you. <laughs> <laughs> I never loved you. <laughs> Get out. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna go. Gonna go with the otter space here. Uh, let's see. Fr uh, not gourd. <laughs> oh come on. <laughs> uh, Two yeah. long boys, but one is clearly superior yeah. to the other. <laughs> Oh, thank God. <laughs> yep. So bracket two again is getting rid of the getting rid of the chaff. Let's see. Uh, oh, a little tougher. Ooh, yeah. I like I like the femininity. Like I do like a big boy. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yep. I'll take the dooty doo. <laughs> well, the dooty doo was the. Crocodile. Uh, <laughs> you, you're, please be God. I don't know what your deal was. Oop, yep, Lapras can get it. And oh, you, this looks like a child's drawing. It doesn't look like a real thing. <laughs> get out of here, Natu. Shoo. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, Ed, Tetrapod energy. And you're just you're you're too thick. <laughs> Goat, please. <laughs> Shoo. <coughs> um. Yeah. He's not quite as thick as the M Boar. Yeah. Much true. more athletic. 
And you're right, I don't know what's going on under the hood here. We'll go with Incineroar. Yeah, it's hard to say what is what the actual hoot hoot is. Um Again, are these gloves or hands? Does he have actual shoulder pads or does he have shoulder bones? Are these shoes? There are too many questions here. There are questions Look, there too. Yeah, but it's only one question. Are these pants? <laughs> Hmm, <laughs> angry boy or hoop enthusiast? I don't, you're, you're, there's too much face here. <laughs> He's got a catcher's mitt for a I face. I gotta look at this. <laughs> Hoopa! Uh, Sal, Salandit. Which one was Salandit? That's the, like, poison salamander looking guy. Yeah, right? it's just it, the unevolved one. Uh, right. I I passed up on Salandit because if there, there was some it went up against something that I was like, if this was the f female only evolved form, I'd be way more into this over the other choice. But since it's a Salandit, uh, Burb Energy. Goodbye, get, Mawile. Get out of your weird mouth thing. I love Mawile. Okay, this one's tricky. <laughs> Because, like, so tetrapod energy for sure. The only reason why Dracozolt's not a tetrapod is because his front paws can't reach. I mean, it might be, like, uh, like Tyrannosaur style, but also, what is this? These aren't, these aren't dragon slash dino legs. This is Barney-ass legs. D Dialga, get out of here. <laughs> Boo. You're wrong. Duck or orb? <laughs> well... I do like lychee berry. <laughs> yeah, but you're not eating it. You're fucking it. <laughs> I mean, I do like lychee berry. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Between the two, yeah. I'll take, I'll take a double. I'll take Susie times two. <sighs> hmm. Tits? Boop fish? There's tits underneath that fluff. Surely. Surely. Also, it's got a stick up its ass. <laughs> You'd have a stick um, up your ass, too, if you looked like that. Scared thing. Or slurpy clam. I'm going to slurpy clam for sure. Um, oh, yep. Doggo tetrapod energy. Over weird. Yeah, oh, mm, this one's easy. No more dead thing. Get out of here. I love that our choices were dead thing or thing that will explode and kill you. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Indeed, D is not an orb. True, but croissant head is a little weird. It's also, the way its hips are going is kind yeah. of weird. Is that fur or is that hip bone? That's yeah, it's weird. I, I don't, I don't do, I don't like the weird. I mean, I like weird, but not this weird. This is this is weird, weird. I'll go with orb, big nose. Ear of that. Uh, hmm. You know what? Floatzel here. Floatzel's got some confidence. Floatzel's like, yeah. Gonna gonna go with Floatzel. Plus, Otter Space. <laughs> do, do, do. Do, 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 Horse do. or oh, neck <laughs> garment? <laughs> yeah, I'm a lay. I what? forget what we chose over comp. Get laid. Well, it was something that I pointed out, and then you were like, oh, lay, lay, lay. <laughs> Give me the lay. Uh, but yeah, fucking horse. Horms. Horms. It's got whore in the name. <laughs> uh, oh, fish versus kick ass burb. Dude, that is like the one of the best designed yeah. birds that yeah. I've seen. Although I do like Swana. Swana didn't want to be here from the beginning, and it's up against Dragon. Yeah, but that Dragon sucks, and you know it. No, that Dragon is dope. Emolga, that was a mistake, let's be honest. <laughs> like, you were about to take one for the team and be like, no, I will take the thing that is... <laughs> Horrible. It didn't. It didn't matter because we knew neither of them was yeah. going on from there. So we'll take the awake one, <laughs> the one that's not in a permanent coma. Uh, sorry, Lillipop, you didn't even have a chance. 
Um, both these options suck. <sighs> Eradicate, I guess. If I close my eyes. <laughs> um, hmm, Raichu or Growlithe? Uh, Growlithe has the touch butt yeah. energy, but Raichu is, seems like it'd be a little more on the ball. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, gonna go with Growlithe on this one. Click. <laughs> go <Ooh>. away. <laughs> I'm sad you didn't get Gudra. Uh, yeah. Screaming cannibal plant or good boy? Yeah, we're gonna go with a floofy good boy on this one. Uh, hmm. I, I, you were, I, no. I didn't want you. You are a terrible human being. He's just too beefcakey. He just because you're if he jealous. Was, if he had fur, maybe. But he's just like mm. a dude. Uh, Small burb or big legendary that looks like a fucking boat. <laughs> <laughs> like, doesn't he? He just looks Kinda. like a boat. Or a jet, but like a ch too chonky a jet. You know what? I'm going with small burb. <laughs> you just sort of like, I exist. Happy uh, penguin, or just hip shaking Benui. Benui is unfair. Poongu. <laughs> uh, ooh. Uh, I'm I I, I dig yeah. the proportions here better. <sighs> Munchlax isn't trash. Isn't yeah. literal trash. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yes. And, oh. Ooh. That's a tricky the choice. The happiest boy that ever existed? Or, like, Sylvan Cat? Uh, I gotta go with... I gotta go with the good boy. Uh... Hmm. Mm, I think I know which way this is gonna go. Yeah, we're going... Uh, Flor Florges, for sure. Ballsack! <laughs> Farewell, Ballsack. Eevee or Greedent? Uh. It's, it's something about this expression. Yeah. I feel like he's too happy. Like, something's going on in this head. <laughs> something. Something uncomfortable. I love nuts! <laughs> hmm. Uh. Shroom? Or, like, fucking no thoughts, head empty, besides scratching. I think that these are markings, and these are its eyes <laughs> it's right like here. like the basilisk from Dark Souls. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a burb superior to mushroom. <laughs> Clavary, get out of here. Get, get out of here. Fight. Get out of here. Uh, who? Mm, mm. We're both tetrapod energy. He he's kind of lumbery. Yeah. Uh, go I hell. Luxray's got feels less thumpy. Be gone. So orb. many Eevees. Uh, yeah. We could get rid of all the tiny things. Get out of here, child. But you know what? <laughs> You're Manageable. Scary, yeah. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Speak management. Kadabra, smartest Pokemon that has ever lived. No, that was, was that. Is that Kadabra or is that Alakazam? I th that's where Alakazam, was, isn't it? And where it was like, it's smarter than even you two. But Kadabra's still smart. Yeah. Certainly smarter than you are. <laughs> I'll take a Kadabra. How much How much of a pain must that be for trainers to have a Pokemon that is smarter than you? Get out of here, Trump. Skunk. You're like, all right, you psychic. And he's like, that's the stupidest thing you've ever said to me. I'm going to use Confuse Ray. Boo. Now the battle's won, idiot. You're like, oh. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Uh, go, go, gotta, go with, it. gotta go with bedroom eyes over fish, <laughs> <laughs> over finch, uh, or fluet. 
you know, like again, Floet like, its size is so and... yeah. But it, remember, the size is big enough. So like, if it's this big, it becomes this big. No, fifteen hundred <laughs> damage. I activate my trap card. <laughs> I'm not even. I'm not even playing your game, bitch. Kamehameha! <laughs> what the fuck? I'm gonna go with mischievous. She just seems peaceful. It's mischievous are like the most benign of the ghost Pokemon. They oh, just I'm like to. Battery. They just like to come up and be like boo. Um, Quilava. Torkoal feels like he's not even here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, dearling. Soft deer over steel. How does this fly? It's its wings are like blade. <laughs> you see what, what I mean? engines? Duh. Like, they just kind of go zoop, zoop. Like they're not facing the right <laughs> direction to push wind. Powerful butt engines. Duh. <laughs> Anyways, deer. <laughs> deer, clearly. I'll forever scream ball sack. Uh, uh, big head or big stash? Uh, uh, excuse me. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, we're on bracket three. I clicked burb. <laughs> um. I think I'm gonna go with Brian on this one. She does seem like she's having a good time. Yeah. Although she has that tooth. Makes me well, wonder. It's, wait, it's so off to the side though. Yeah, but when you consider the rest of her snoot, that's like way over here. That is true. well out of dick danger range. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Brian. <sighs> Ooh. Tricky choice. Hmm. <laughs> Dude, that's that's the problem with characters with sharp teeth. Where it's like, because most people are like, Dude, I love this character to give me a blowjob. It's like, no, you wouldn't. <laughs> Te like, not sharp teeth are already such a hassle to deal with when giving blowjobs. Uh, I'm gonna go. You know what? Just a good shape here. <laughs> Just good structure. It's it's like fucking a like dressed up priest. Hey, Baldrick, dude, both of us have to go through 256 Pokemon. It takes a while. Uh, Tetrapod energy for the win here. I mean, he's got he's got good structure, but uh, this is the you have been here because you had to be. Mewtwo takes this one. <laughs> Mewtwo superiority. Like, you're an error. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. Uh, big, big fancy magic creature. Because that's like, that's like the Pokemon equivalent of a goddamn unicorn. Yeah. Like, you fucked that and you're blessed for life. <laughs> that thing will steal all your waffles. <laughs> <laughs> I want my waffles. Get out of here, you waffle thief. <laughs> Um, mm. Have you noticed that her hands are attached to her head? Yes, but Pokemon are weird, and I'm a xenophile, so I don't really care too much how weird their structure is. Weasel's got otter space, though. <laughs> uh, oh, so... <laughs> Yeah, this isn't really that hard. Sorry, Vaporeon. sorry, Tentacruel. Sorry, the hentai has lost to the sleek bum. You are very happy, but you, uh, you look like you're gonna do some things, <laughs> which may or may not include stealing my PS4. <laughs> um, I'm still uncertain about how you work, but I know how Lapras <laughs> works, and she works <laughs> farewell blob thing <laughs> you are very happy i can't relate <laughs> uh ooh. you are very hapster burger <laughs> stir burger <laughs> uh yeah a horse horse superior to goat you can quote that 
Oof. Oh man, furry bait versus furry bait. You know what? I lean Twinkie over Beefy. So we're gonna take Pants Boy over here. <laughs> boy of Pants. <laughs> Eat Pants. <laughs> okay, finally we can get rid of fucking Hoopa. Bird energy. I like Hoopa. But... Hoopa's got a good design, but how does that even work? Uh... <sighs> We should do this again, but with like action, with like anthropot pot. I will find anthro pictures of every Pokemon for this. We'll do it again. So that you sit there and you go, wait a second. <laughs> you sit there and you go, wait a second. How is this hot now? <laughs> like it's a goddamn Gardevoir, and you're like, no. <laughs> It will be a year-long project where we make Soren draw 900 Pokemon as Sexymon. <laughs> hmm. Mega Pokemon. Or duck. <laughs> the dick on this thing has to be amazing. <laughs> His legs don't work right. <laughs> Whatever. Um... You look kind of blocky. Yeah, he does got, like, the joints and stuff. Also, he's very low to the ground. <laughs> he's a low rider. <laughs> well, I can't get under there. If I try to get under that, he's You're just going to be to get like... under that. You're supposed to be behind that. Yeah, but how am I... I'm going to have to that's be how like... Tetra... That's how the tetrapods work. You get behind, not under. The only way this works is reverse cowgirl. That's like one position you can do. I'm gonna take the one with the stick up. <laughs> Fucking his doggy style, you idiot! <laughs> How? I can't get. I can't. Get you low, put it on low, the bed, low. and you it goes on bed. You stand up. Yeah, but uh, it's a floof. Anyways, obvious hey, choice is obvious. <laughs> yeah. Do you want blep? Do you want blep clam? Blep bivalve or actual <laughs> full like. formed animal? <laughs> You can't just... <laughs> um, yeah. She, she got to class. <laughs> and there are parts of her that feel like they might actually function the way yeah. you think. Oh, Otter, Otter gives way to Horms. Does that Horms looks like it's got some energy? Ooh. Oh, here we go. Dragon or Burb. Burb is much more manageable, and it is an awesome Burb. That's true. And also keep... But that dragon looks like it wrecks shop. But is... <laughs> we're, we're smashing, not battling. No, but like... Like, I want it to wreck, though. <laughs> like, course, that thing's gonna... how big is that guy? Right? Like... Because, like, if he's, like, just, like, tall six-foot guy... Six foot. That tail is manageable. But he, if he's like a 12 foot person, someone's dying. He gets excited and I go noop. <laughs> yeah, see, Cobalt knows what's up. Yeah, well, but you know what? He looks hard. Burb energy. <laughs> Burb. Carry me away. Well, <laughs> goodbye. Mm, farewell, Amolga. <laughs> goodbye. Didn't even man. have a chance. Not even close. <laughs> oh, thank God! Get out of here, Radicate! <laughs> Yay! I I really hope he, hoped he'd like just somehow keep going up the worst ones. Here we go. <laughs> Delphox looks so magical. Yeah, like, Zekrom is nine feet tall. <laughs> that tail <laughs> is destroying your house. Well, because the sizes aren't obvious from just pictures alone. It's not like they have a little human standing next yeah. to each of them. Some of them I know. Like, I know that ex Executor is shorter than you think, but also Alolan Executor is fucking terrifyingly <laughs> massive. And the reason I know that is because I played Cobblemon and an Alolan Executor spawned on a beach, and I turned around and was like, Jesus! <laughs> Because it was gigantic. I had the same reaction to an onyx in a cave. I walk in there and I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> and then it's like, oh, it's an onyx. 
I thought uh, I found a legendary Pokemon that was just going to kill me. <laughs> like, I feel like I would meet a Delphox stumbling it like I would stumble into a Sylvan Glen <laughs> and there would be a Delphox like, hello. Ha are you lost? And I'd be like, not anymore. I am exactly I, where I want to I be. I pledge my fealty <laughs> to you, oh Lord of the Woods. But I'm not the Lord of the Woods. I'm a fire Pokemon, you brainless dumbass. <laughs> I still swear my fealty. All right. Well, okay. This ain't wow. Um. Uh, but that good boy Tetrapod energy. So floof. Like it so floof. <laughs> it's floof versus floof, quadrupod versus furry bait. <laughs> Just ah. Uh... Oh, that made my teeth like sting. You know what? I want to give Del Fox all the nice things. I would like follow Del Fox. Del Fox is like nice mom. Gonna go with Arcanine on the smash. Turns out Del Fox is just an ar arsonist. <laughs> <laughs> like you bring her home, your mom's like, "Holy shit, you managed to get, you managed to befriend the Del Fox. That's so great!" And then like you, you turn around to talk with your mom. You turn around again. She's just got their fire against the wall and everything's on fire. You're like just. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, oh no, chat's turning on me. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with Frogadier over Tiny Bird. If by chat you mean ferret and ferret only. <laughs> uh, woo. Here we go. See, we have a similar situation to the last one. I feel like this one's a little easier, though. Because if you ask me, there's something special about Absol that yeah. Low Punny just doesn't have. And Absol's got the structure. Like. Although I. It's, it's one horn is always weird to me. Yeah, but I mean, it's a good handle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Absol. Uh, <laughs> finally, good boy, get out of here. You're, you got those weird ones that just stick around for a while. You're, you're... Small and adorable. Yeah. But you got them hips and the ass that's sticking out. <laughs> potentially psychotic burb dinosaur or happy orb Ark, Ark in here is just kind of going hey <laughs> sup <laughs> hi Clefairy's like fucking yeah <laughs> it wants the party it does dude it can metronome Oh yeah! I wonder what kind of shit that. Of course, then again, metronome is an attack. I don't think he could oh, metronome and just spawn beer. Like he'd metronome and be like, "Let's find out what happens." And you could get like sweet scent, or a meteor could crash into your house. <laughs> 100% self destruct. <laughs> <laughs> let's see what happens. You're like, yeah, let's roll that dice. Let's have fun. <laughs> Goodbye, friend. <laughs> um, <laughs> it gave uh, its life for the for the good time. <laughs> it you erect a statue if you survive. Uh Espeon has that ass. But Luxray's got the structure. <laughs> That's a lot of fluff in the way of the ass though. Oh, yeah, sorry, Wigglytuff. Goodbye. Tetrapod energy takes it every time. Well, not every time. But it's <laughs> a... <laughs> alas, <laughs> Magikarp's mighty lips give way to My mighty... Mighty brain. Mighty brain. Hmm. Uh, yeah. yeah, I feel this going in favor yeah. of Nick, it really. It, it, it's the... It's the... It's the... I want it. <laughs> Nick, it wants it. And I got it. Hmm. Ooh. Ball sack or deer? Deer's really cute. I'm gonna go with ball sack. Raikou or burb energy? Hmm. <laughs> but small burb versus big boy. Yeah, I'm gonna go with big boy here. 
Ah, here Ooh. we go. What, what is this? Bracket four? Yep, we're getting... Round four! Uh... Yep, yeah, Lizarb. Goodbye, Brion. Farewell! You did well, considering that you have a clown nose. <laughs> But that ass takes it. What do you mean these two against each other? Once they happen, they don't happen again. That's how this works. <laughs> those two have never faced off yet. Um, you are imagining things. Verizon, I think. Yeah. The tetrapod energy. He's got boots too. That's true. Like I can hear you now. Uh. Ooh. Honestly, these two weren't up against each other, right? Nope. Okay, this bracket isn't doing weird shit. I don't think so. All right. Uh... There is a wrong answer here, and you will be judged, <laughs> but it is your choice to make. <laughs> so here's, here's... I would like to point something out to you. There is better otter space in this tournament. All right, but here's the thing. This... This one depends on one question. Gender. That's something Aurorus, that if it's a male. Bweasel, if it's a female. Gender is one of those things where I kind of like didn't really try to think about it too much but like there were certain cases where I'm like this Pokemon is much better if it to me if it is a <laughs> specific like gender lean right like yes asshole is the same size regardless but here's the thing would you rather have that one's dick or that one's Puss. Well, more it's if this one, like, if they both have a dick, this one's dick is going to be way more impressive than this one's. But if they both have a vag, this one is going to be easier to use. <coughs> plus otter space. Okay, uh, Cobalt with s says maybe think about it in whichever. Take each one and think about it in whatever ways, in whatever gender is hotter to you for that Pokemon. Weasel. Female Weasel? Yes. Over male? Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't know. That's true. Vaporeon is like... <laughs> Although, you know what? Maybe Vap Vaporeon's fucking sick of it. <laughs> Maybe Vaporeon is sick of being the internet's fuck sleeve. <laughs> Too bad! <laughs> uh, woo, okay. Uh, this, <laughs> this is- this would be an easy choice for me. Uh... Lapras is we magical. Got that, we got that tetrapod energy, but... Lapras is technically tetrapodal. Yeah, you know, And also magical, Lapras and it can, doesn't have a derp face. Lapras can get it. Yeah. Ooh, bird energy? Or Twink Energy. I hate that I keep picking Lucario. <laughs> because it's like the poster boy of what you hate about modern Pokemon. Oh, finally, thank God. <laughs> Goodbye, Dialga. <laughs> uh, woo. She's exotic. She is. But he's got the figure between them. He's like, but you know, but he's like, blah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a little too. He yeah. feels like he's a little too do, too much dog brain and not enough Pokemon. Look, brain. This is a dark fire Pokemon that they just straight up made blah. <laughs> <laughs> blah. blah. He's a vampire dog type of. He's thing. a Diedrich. I dog. can't take you seriously. <laughs> uh, <laughs> woo. Okay. <clears throat> other other Zebrorb uh, was. It? Didn't quite have it, but this dude's got the yeah, this dude's got better. that style. So tetrapod or burb uh, energy. It's got the style. Get out of here, Growlithe. Sorry. Goodbye. That wasn't friend. hard. <laughs> this is 
It doesn't feel very hard no, either. No. Froge. Like, Growlithe <laughs> loses easily, but Arcanine... Now, here's a choice. <laughs> oh, yeah, here we go. This one's rough. <laughs> Two titans of the arena <laughs> facing off against each other. Like, I'm picturing Oblivion in my head. <laughs> um... You know, I kind of like that. I kind of like the bit of edgy that Absol's got going on, like sh in shape. I don't mean like, oh, edgy. Like, there's a bit of there's a bit of like edginess shape. He's got to Absol. He he feels a little more bony. Yeah. Plus these front pobs here. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Absol looks more like he could probably grab a dick, whereas. The good boy looks like the best he could do is slap the dick around. Yeah, Baldrick's Baldrick's got it. I'd want to like be friends with with Bolton and be like, "Oh, aren't you a good boy?" And then I'd go home with Axel Fairy. Yeah, <laughs> you did well for being an orb. Ooh, uh, ooh. Um, your hair is too <coughs> long. You're gonna. That's like it's. I don't know. It feels hairish. This feels floof. This feels hair. Floof over hair any day. Edgy cat versus edgy dog. <laughs> uh, bedroom eyes. <laughs> Sorry, Cadaver. You're smart, but Nick it gets it. Uh, oh, Quilava versus Raikou. <laughs> I... This, this mustache needs to leave eventually. Yeah, I think mustache leaves now. <laughs> like, I know it's gonna go <laughs> at some point. Oh, here we go. Life's Next a bitch and then you die. That's why we survive. So I know when you're gonna go. Hakamo'o has been doing really well. But so has Verizian. I think I'm gonna go Hakamo'o. Verizian's got the tep... They're verizian has got the tetrapod energy, but there's a certain structure that works. And they, <laughs> Verizian's back legs are kind of lacking. Yeah, they're a little... <coughs> like, they're they, too straight. <laughs> yeah, they come, like, in. They just look like human legs. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with Hakama-O here. <laughs> Ballsack can lose Nick until then. Ballsack! <laughs> God damn it, Nick. Stop giving me that look. No. Uh, sorry, Otter Space. <laughs> well, Vaporeon's kind of an otter. Kind of? Alright. Uh, oh. Is Lucario about to lose the magic? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Lucario. But you came with pants. <coughs> and that was your mistake. That was... You needed to come dick out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like you do. If you come in pants, it's a problem. <laughs> oh, uh, hmm. They're both good, but Tapu Fini's got that exotic going on. And I'll take exotic over Floof. <laughs> I like Bar Arc Bird and Panda. Haha, <laughs> eat shit. Uh, oh. <coughs> okay. <coughs> I w I'm surprised this is making you think as hard. It's the structure, man. I keep telling you. Like, Inteleon's got this sort of, like, got, like, this going on. Like, that's what really makes Inteleon work, is this. Like, this look right here, this is the energy that makes Inteleon work. Th this right here <laughs> is, this is what makes the quadrupeds work. And the, so the question is, is Zeb Strika doing this better than Inteleon is doing this? And I think Zeb Strika is... You are a fool. <laughs> you, you are a fool. <laughs> you fool! <laughs> so, and again, this better than this? No. Arcanine is huge. I also. like a... I like a clean look to a floofy look, personally. Uh, yeah, sorry, Florgis. Again, it's this right here 
versus this right here. Really? It's not this? <laughs> no, no, actually it's not. It's the it's that sort of it's that sort of elegance and like it's that sort of elegance and attitude that Zip works Strinka it. sounds like a late stage Soviet rock band. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with yeah, Lux Ray. Lux Ray does this better than Floor just does this. Like there's a look. Hey, look, speaking of looks, yeah, there's th a look that is clearly prevailing here. There's I think. there's a look that a character can give me that makes their figure far less important. If it, if it, if they've got the look, Ballsack loses to Bedroom Eyes, yeah. Sorry, Ballsack, farewell. Sorry, fiery balls. All right. Okay. <laughs> We're getting towards the last of the last. Damn. Hakamo'o or Vaporeon? What a choice. Yeah. Hip lizards or that <laughs> Duh. boss boss round. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with Vaporeon because like you can't see it here, but it's got that it's got that tetrapod figure. Yeah. And I am ignoring. The Pokedex entries for Vaporeon. <laughs> uh, ooh. See, here's the thing. It's because Lapras has been coming through based on the expression and the magic. Yeah. But it's up against something that's fucking magic as shit. Yeah. So, like, does and it... And it's still... And it's got that look, too. Plus a figure... Whereas Lapras is kind of a lump. Yeah. It was a magical lump that was like the equivalent of a sea unicorn, but it's still a lump. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Tap. I want to tap that Feeny. Tapu Feeny. Thing is, though, it's hard to get in from behind on the Tapu Feeny. That's going to affect. That's going to affect her score later. Oh, here we go. Absol's working it better. Zeb Strika could have won this, but I feel like it's lacking a certain uh, the intelligence that Absol just radiates. True. Zeb Strika feels much more horse than it does Pokemon to me. And I, I'm just like wondering if chat's starting to pick up on what it is that I'm looking for back here. Well, that's the thing. Is she? That's the thing I don't know. Is if she's actually stuck in the shell? Can they come out? Pop out of that shell? I'll figure out how to get in there somehow. <laughs> when you want to smash, you work. You get out the fucking smash. We'll find. You get a out way. the fucking ruler and the. <laughs> And all the measurement tools. Yeah, I think Absol takes this one. Yeah. Farewell, zebra. Oh, okay. See, here it is again. This versus this. Uh, it's such a good smile. <laughs> it's. But it's nope. This is doing it down here. Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah, and now the difficulties come into play. Vaporeon is easy to smash. Like, this is easy access right here. <laughs> uh, ooh, okay. So now these guys are both doing it down here real good. Mm. We got Pobs versus Claws. Lux, what do you mean Luxray over Absol because Absol too serious? Luxray looks so serious. Like he is done with shit. Like, there is a bowl of food that I have placed out for him here and he is going to destroy it. <laughs> uh whereas Absol is just sort of like, "Oh, what's over here?" <laughs> Uh, 
And you have to also think about what those paws can do when being used together, as opposed to just one. You know what? I'm gonna... It's it's Absol. The Pobs, the Pobs have won me over. They're doing this almost exactly as well as each other, so I had to go looking for alternative sources of stuff. And the Pobs on this... I'll... Yeah... I will detonate. Oh, yeah. here we go. This is it, the finals. <laughs> and who is surprised that Vaporeon <laughs> made it to the finals? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you fucking goddamn. <laughs> All right. So you, you fucking goddamn damp cock sleeve Pokemon. Vaporeon <laughs> <laughs> looks you in the face. So, you know what? This comes down to that same choice that we had before, which is... It, the, they win based on gender. Absol wins if dude. Vaporeon wins if lady. And lady wins. Vaporeon, <laughs> of course, wins <laughs> in the end. <laughs> Like, the second it showed up, I was like, there's no way in hell this isn't going all the way. <laughs> of course. Maybe if we had gotten some Fuck. other Pokemon that came through. But I'm not sure that that would have helped. I think there are some options. Like, maybe Suicune? Yeah, there's. I think there are some options that might have done it. You know what? Vaporeon wouldn't have won against Inteleon. Interesting. If Vaporeon had gone up against Inteleon, she would have been booted out a while ago. But she didn't. She didn't have to go up against anybody hard, really. Until Absol. Towards, well, until towards the end. She did have fairly one-sided fights. It kept being like, no, nope, no, nope, Vaporeon over this. Easy peasy. It wasn't until it was like Vaporeon over Hakamoto. Yeah. And it was like, mmm. See, that's what makes the random tournament format so interesting. Is that if we do this again, we're going to have different results. Because the, not just the po the order that the Pokemon come in and the and who they have to fight, fight. I mean, you can see that with some of the lo lower tier Pokemon that last way too long because they keep coming up against trashier Pokemon <laughs> yeah. that were chosen for the same reason. <laughs> mm, munch, munch. Vaporeon would have trashed Nutsack. <laughs> 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 I mean, she looks like she's gonna. Vaporeon destroys nutsacks <laughs> with water gun. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah, that's the thing to remember is that you know it's a water gun that's capable of dealing damage to a po to another <laughs> Pokemon. So like that's coming out with a force. <laughs> so, well, so, uh, interestingly, water Pokemon won both tournaments. Proving once again that water Pokemon are the best Pokemon. Mm. The bestimon. Your logic is stupid, and also your brain. I bet you five bucks that all three of our other hosts will end up with water Pokemon, because water Pokemon are the most smashable. They just are. <laughs> See, I think that might be diff- We might differ it if we did, like, actual just straight smasher pass. And then just went through all the Pokemon and we calculated how many Pokemon each person rated from each type as smashable. Eh. What? I do not. I. No, I refuse. <laughs> I refuse to do the thing that will prove me wrong. <laughs> yes. 
That I, means I'm right somehow. That's with how reasons. science works. No, I refuse no. to do. I refuse to do experiments that might prove my hypothesis wrong. Hey, you know who's also basically permanently lubed up? Gudra. That's true. But Gudra's not a water Pokemon. You know who is also permanently lubed up? Muck. Me. Oh, <laughs> Muck. Oh. You wouldn't fuck a muck, though, but it is <laughs> lubed up. I mean, maybe you'd fuck a muck. Maybe that's what you're into, you freak. I went to muck and fucked a muck. So, well, I honestly would not have expected this to go on for four and a half hours. <laughs> well, the, the first ones are a little... Usually take some time, because we don't want to just choose them. I was about to say, that's 3.5 gigabytes, right? But no, it's not. That's 35 gigabytes. Let's go. Woo. All right. Well, that's what we get for recording in 4K. All right. Thank you guys so much for coming to this really stupid thing. We will be returning to this again because I'm going to force Cleo and Soren and Coda to go through this torture. Excuse me. So... <laughs> leave me out of this so uh yeah this was surprisingly fun and unsurprisingly stupid <laughs> um so we're still working on getting some schedules worked out um but uh we will be coming back with more streams we hope that you will join us for those uh, but until we see you again, thank you so much for coming. As always, a huge thanks to our Twitch cheers, subscribers, and donators. Your financial support helps us to pay a couple bills every month, and it means the world to us, so thank you so much for that. And don't forget to check us out on YouTube and Discord. I got some links coming for you in the chat right now. Uh, we post our VODs and stuff over on YouTube. I promise we have those there. I just can't be fucked to make uh, thumbnails. That's really the only thing that's holding those up is thumbnails because I suck. Also, you should swing into our Discord. We've got a wonderful community of people who would love to chat with you. So drop by, say hi, and we'll see you guys next time on Controller Tape. Bye. Good boy.